Hello, hope everybody's doing well today. Um, first off, I wanted to apologize for yesterday. Uh, I completely forgot to make an announcement on my Discord that I wasn't streaming today, but I did say on Friday that I wasn't going to be streaming yesterday. Um, so, like, I just wanted to apologize for, like, miscommunicating on, on specific channels, and that that's entirely on me. Um, so today I figured, you know what, haven't done it in a bit, let's do some West of Loathing. Have a good time. So glad I get to a stream again. It's all fine. Well, thank you, Raxus. I'm glad you're here. How's it going, my dude? In all honesty, I do not remember what, I, what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I forgot about the drunk horse. I can now say my first two legit shinies were a Bibarel and uh, soon to be an Alpha Rapidash. Nice. I have f four shinies right now. Ponyta, Motham. Uh, Ponyta, Motham. Staravia and... Fuck, I can't remember. I have been fine. Hope you can say the same. I have been. This week is a little bit been a little bit emotionally draining uh so thankfully i managed to uh actually hopefully resolve what the issue was um and then uh yeah oops uh yeah, and then hopefully, I, I was a little lackluster, but the Golden Marshmallow Tournament is now going to go on this Thursday. I hope you got your memes prepared, because it's going to be a, a hilarious one. Never mind about the Alpha Rapidash, this is despawned when I reset. Ah, uh, sorry to hear that. Alright. I'm forgetting about anything. Susie so reminds me reminds me that you're in the middle of investigating a missing shipment of mail to Breadwood. Says you told the professor that you bring him five chunks of El Vibrato scrap. Take Saltpeter back to the chef in dirt water. Saltpeter and uh, dirt water. Investigating a shipment of mail. I'm not a funny enough, not a funny person, so I can't join. Sadly, I mean it's it's it's, it's all based off of memes, created memes, memes you find personally funny. It's just entirely just about that. I did. If you find if you find yourself, uh, if you find yourself, just find find some funny things on the internet that you that you that you personally have laughed at. Uh, Pog, uh, West of Loathing, hell yeah, How, how's it going, General? Trying to get Streamlabs to work properly to figure out the app, I was... Uh, I would not use Streamlabs. But I'm, I'm glad you managed to figure it out, I guess. I'm de doing decent, a little bit drained today, my back is fucked right now, because that's... Uh, I was shuffling snow, and I was, like, almost, I was about to finish. My shovel hit, like, a patch of frozen snow underneath... And, yeah. Wasn't a massive pain in the ass. It's the best that can be used on a mobile. I guess. I'm kind of molding though. I lost a Civ game on the actual last fucking turn. Oh, shit. What, what happened? To give it a shot? I'll give it a try. Alright, partners, start naming Pharaohs. Tune common. Alright, I forgot about that. We don't take kindly. We don't take kindly to strangers. Stranger, 
Don't need your kind around here. Did you say need or need? He glares at you. Well, anyway. Alright. Not yet. I don't remember where we're supposed to go for this. So it's Kellogg Ranch and Alexandria Ranch. Nubia got a science factory. Oh, Yeah, Nubia's really cracked at science sometimes. One Pokemon that sounds like death? Alpha Frost Last? Yeah, I've, I've seen that. It's fixed suddenly gets spooked by something off the side of the trail, and it's easy to understand why. There's a horse skeleton in the ditch, which is a thing that's probably extra spooky if you're a horse. Approaching the horse more closely, you see the tattered remains of a pair of Pony Express saddlebags on its skeletal flanks. The starboard bag is empty, but the port one contains a skeletal human hand with a ring in it. You conclude that either the horse's rider died with his hand in the saddlebag, or somebody is really sad that the, and that the skeleton hand they ordered never showed up, even though they paid extra to have it sent to Pony Express. Either way, free ring! Ring of getting places faster. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Reduces the... Oh, I don't want the fre reduced frequency. I love his laugh. Anyways, what has everybody been up to today? What is that noise? Thirty-one and thirty-two. What if I forty-six and forty-seven? Finished a character on stream this morning after getting Streamlabs to work. Because Twitch mobile streaming isn't too high quality. Well, at least it's half decent. That that mean that mean that you managed to get a uh, finish. That I mean. You insisted uh, you insisted that those little doggies uh, get along. Any XP got tainted beef steak. You skin the cows with a rusty knife. Three smoldering leather. Hooray! Wow, this this place really has been blown to pieces. Just being an under, undestroyed bookshelf, but not anymore. Scavenge. The Diary of Alexandria Alexandria. Deeper smoldering books. Dig through it. Books are wrecked. The volumes are ruined. The tomes are kaput. A mostly destroyed bookshelf. You managed to extract one non-destroyed book from the collection. You got Advanced Beancraft Volume X. Uh, that's... 40? L is 50, right? The Solid Steel Vault Door. It's half a cannonball. The front half. The front half of a cannonball? You pick up the cannonball and inspect it. There's a description that you can mostly read. It says the cannonball came from Fort Treason. It's got the address stamped right onto the surface. This, bomb this bombardment was done by the army. Small diary, it's crispy and around the edges, it smells like gunpowder. Flip through the diary. Most of it is uneventful, describing the life of a woman who likes books and isn't interested in much else. It ends with a passage about a soldier from a nearby fort warning her about some kind of danger he wouldn't specify. So she moved her most valuable books to the cellar and took took the ordinary precautions, boarding up the windows and not leaving the house at night. Turns out that isn't much good against cannonballs. 40, yeah. Nice. I'm glad I got it right. This is a cookbook. Cookbook specializing in bean runner game. Alright. Uh, uncanny presents are butterbean. 
That's not butter bean. You study the com uh, combinations of beans and butter until you mastered every aspect of it. Unfortunately, a lot of butter got splattered onto the book while you were practicing, and now it's totally illegible. Yuck. Dang, someone had a real hate fell on this first place. You don't think it was the cows? Cows don't explode and leave craters like that. At least no cows I've ever heard of. Who would be left to tell you? <laughs> Spot a guy riding down the road on a brown horse, wearing a brown fur hat and carrying a brown shopping bag with a brown loaf of stolen bread sticking out the top. You can tell it's stolen because the bag has a little picture of a loaf of bread on it. He rides up and banishes a big, uh, great big loaf of bread at you. Hand her over all your bread or I'll bludgeon you to death. Jeez, you like bread, huh? Yeah, it's my kind of thing. Offer him infinite bread. <laughs> So you know that old saying, give a man a fish and he eats for a day, teach a man to fish and he eats for the rest of his life. I don't like fish, I just like bread. You kind of missed the point. I'll go slowly. You write down your mom's bread recipe and explain it to him in short words. He gives you his large and very stale loaf of bread in exchange and rides away excitedly. Cool, I got loaf. <laughs> what does loaf do? Ooh, mysticality. I have 34 Mysticality, 1 Moxie. Nice. I guess beans do go with toast. It says Postal Service Property, no trespassing. Yeah, trespass. You don't even know what bureaucratic processes were involved in the placement of this outhouse. Okay. A big map of the whole region with lots of confusing little annotations on it. Stack of all papers. I just got an uh, achievement called In a Row. Uh, hey, there's an un undelivered letter underneath the stack. It's addressed to Roy Bean. Look at the address and jot it down on your map. You discovered a new map location. Roy Bean's House of Justice and Jelly Beans. Ooh, beans. Nothing interesting. Oh, you actually no. There's an actual postcard in here that you could use. Item blank postcard. There's an article about how they had to change the name of Boot Hill Cemetery to Reboot Hill Cemetery because of the skeletons that are coming back to life. <laughs> Somebody has removed all the funnies, so there's literally no reason to care about them. Ah. Uh. Cabin is full of maps, but you have no idea what any of them mean. You maybe you could ask about a post office in Dirtwater. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I can go through them again. If you wonder about some of these kit names for my characters, I often just put down random letters until it resembles a word and name like the rest of my language for Nexus. I just use a character name generator and just like rip two words in half. An odd flash of light nearby prompts you to stop and investigate. You discover a goblin with a strange uh, hinged board covered with shiny foil, which they're using to reflect sunlight onto a pair of leather boots. Hello, what you doing? Tanning, I'm Tanner. Oh. Talk to it. Your tanning boots? Yes. Sun using to make very tan. I don't think it's how it works, but I guess you're the expert. What? You offer to buy the boots? Oh, yes. We'll sell a booth for 250 meats. Sure, why not? Made the boots from. You purchased the boots from the golem who seems very excited to have made a sale. Overly tanned boots. That's a huge ass sign.
So I'm just reading what all these do. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. What is this even hooked up to? Flush and see. Again, 6 XP. Where I must prefer to perform his morning absolutions outdoors. Perform some of your own. Hell yeah. There's a single yellow jelly bean in this case with a sign that says Paraguayan murder bee honey jelly bean. Very rare, 6,000 meat. What kind of lunatic would pay 6,000 meat for a single jelly bean? I want to buy it. Watch my 6,000. Howdy there, pilgrim. Name's Roy Bean. Howdy, Roy. I'm Final Fire. What do you do here? Well, when I first came to these parts, it was all about two things. Dispensing justice and dispensing jello beans. Was the biggest name in bounty hunting and candy sell and everyone, anyone ever heard of. Gosh, what happened? Oh, nothing particularly tragic. Got old is all. I got my pistol for good. He points to an empty hook on the wall over a spittoon. <laughs> Gun fell in the spittoon, I guess. I still sell some jelly beans from time to time, but they're out of fashion. This whole place is just a jelly bean museum now. Seems like the sign out front is very accurate then. How do you mean? Well, if you aren't dispensing justice anymore, maybe you should just say museum. Mm, guess you got a point. I found this letter addressed to you. A letter? You hand over the letter, he reads, he opens it, reads it, snorts derisively, and tosses it into the fireplace behind him. Thanks anyways. For a jelly bean museum, I don't see very many jelly beans. Huh. Bunch of cooks and shady characters stole them. All three jars. Suppose they think I'm a soft target now that I'm retired. I can help you get them back. Well now, I certainly appreciate the assistance. Can't offer much in the way of reward, but I can tell you which way the first group of thieves went if you happen out that direction. Sure. I do kind of want to make money just so I can buy the 6,000 thing. Jelly beans are alright, I suppose. Dull, though. Ain't a patch and a moz cinnamon rock candy. Hot cinnamon? Eye watering. And in shards, you can cut yourself on. Ma figured if we were going to eat pure sugar, we ought to at least have put up a fight. <laughs> I'm gonna die for eating sugar. I love how it actually goes around the mountains. You encounter a family of scared sellers trying to pack their wagon to head out uh, back east out of dirt water. But they're having a time, hard time getting everything situated. Sure, help them pack. Using your advanced spatial skills, you nestle everything into the wagon with space to spare. Now they won't have to leave their children behind. Alright, time to sell some of this shit. I'll start f no, I'll start from the top just so I can A lot of these are tools, I can sell one of these. I don't have a gun, I'm not gonna use it. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Old cavalry hat, I don't need. I didn't put it on. Alright, uh.
I'm not going to get anywhere near 6,000, I guess. I'm not mad about losing the shiny Alpha Rapidash, full odds too. Just disappointed myself for not hard saving in front of it and turning and just turning off autosave. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's, you can always just tr try to regrind for it. One shot with an agile style of hydro pump, and that's I think where you went wrong is because it's hydro pump is just fucked off, overpowered anyways. This is what which starter did you use? Pick Samurott. Does Samurott not have false swipe? Ooh, Mysticality by 11 and your speed by 5. Oh. Okay. I didn't have it remember false swipe as I had to battle a lot in the story. Um, okay. I I always just kept it on uh on my uh decidui. Just cause I figured why the fuck not? <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. All right, so I'm at 3,200. A bright, a spiky, bright blue shape catches your eye. You hop off as, uh, you hop off of Sphinx to invas uh, to investigate it more closely. It's a uh, Hagar's agave. They're native to Panama, but they can grow in these parts. Especially in places that are too hot for teachers to be comfortable. <laughs> ah, damn it, I have to ignore it. You approach the bandits seated around the fire. The meanest looking one speaks up. Don't know who you think you are, Strange, but you better turn yourself right around, head back the way you came. Lesson you want to eat lead. That's not very neighborly. Take a hike, neighbor. Uh, you fellows stole a jar of jelly beans from an old man. I aim to have them back. Oh, is that right? And just how are you planning to do that? <laughs> With the words. Listen, fellas, you, start, you stole a jar of candy from an old man. This is such a small, petty, sad little crime. It barely even qualifies as a crime. 
If this ends up on a wanted poster, you're going to be the laughing stock of the criminal community. More importantly, what would your mother think? I'm giving you a chance to turn away from this life of crime before it's too late. I suggest you take it, because I'm pretty sure this is not a life you're suited to. The bandits had their hangs, uh, the ha hang their heads shamefully and shuffle away. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, honorability. Fill the bedroll. Grab the missing beans. Mint jelly beans. Bandits meager food supply. They should have uh, been robbing grocery stores. Sugar guns and cat's eye candy. Cash of ill-gotten goods. Length of rope, cheap whiskey, hog oil, Kurtz fit headband, and 145 meat. Hell yeah. That's a grateful... I got 10 dynamite, holy crap. Need a bottle of cologne, sulfur match. Oh, boy. Yeah, I so I always have a Pokemon. At least I have two Pokemon uh, that no false swipe that I have always have one on just in case I'm trying to like grab something. And that is Scyther, no, Caesar and uh, Decidueye. It might not be a powerful move, but at least it's that course just twitched and just threw me off. Sorry. Your El Vibrato device starts bleeping, and ble the bleeping leads you to an unremarkable sand dune, which quickly becomes remarkable when the robot buried, th buried underneath wakes up. Oh, fuck. Time to teach my diversion to situate a false swipe. Hell yeah. You forcibly shut the robot down and bury it back under uh and bury it back underneath its sand dune. Got some El Vibrato scraps, hell yeah. Alright, finally, you recover that uh that jar of jelly beans by any chance? Sure did. Well I'll be thank you kindly, final. I won't ask for details, but I hope they were uh, sufficiently grisly. Now the second jar of jelly beans was stolen by a pastel of them weird goblin fellas. Couldn't understand a word they were saying, but they were very insistent. Which way did they go? Northwest towards that huge old cactus folks call Old Granddad. Here, I'll make it on your map, but you can't miss it. Typhlosion cannot learn for, uh, false swipe. Interesting. So the two, star well, two of the starters can, but one of them can't. Uh... Out in the open desert, among the rocks and dunes, and underneath the scorching desert sun, you encounter a chef. That probably uh, doesn't sound all that strange comparatively, but hold on while I get <laughs> go into more detail. <laughs> while I go into more detail, okay. He has somehow hauled a full-sized iron pot belly stove out into this blistering, blistering hot hole, and is cooking something on it. Uh, though you cannot tell what it, uh, because all you see is the pan in the pan is fire. Rather than being drenched in sweat, he's literally steaming. Furthermore, he is mutteringly, muttering wildly to himself. Hotter, gotta be hotter, hot, hot, gotta cook, cook it right uh, through. Cook it right through needs to be hot, hotter, hotter, hotter. Ask what he's cooking. <laughs> Say, uh, what's cooking? What is literally being cooked? Gazpacho soup. Oh, jeez, I have some bad news for you. What, bad? Not hot enough? Not hot enough? 
Oh, buddy. Gazpacho. <laughs> Gazpacho soup is served cold. What? No, no, it's not true. Yeah, sorry. Uh, the, sh the chef runs off into the distant desert screaming. As you watch him go, there's a clang behind you as the door to his stove falls off. The hinges having melted through. Okay, I got stove door. Don't be like me and involve your other two starter Pokemon first chance he gets. Now we need to catch another Cyndaquil and Rallet to get their Pokedex entries. Okay. That's a tall ass fucking cactus. Wait, what do I have in the offhand? Actually, probably a good idea to have some, uh, uh, some armor instead of a, uh, instead of a, uh, spell damage. What if it's legal to cut down that big ass cactus? Maybe? The guard blocks your path. Hey, hi, no climbing for human. I'm here to, I'm here for taking back a, a jar of jelly beans you goblin stealing. Oh, what? Jelly beans, little colorful sugar things. Oh, little fruit rocks? Yeah, those. Those are for the pile. The what? Anyway, no upstairs for humans. Maybe you can trading? No trading, but you can bribing me. Okay, cool, what are you wanting? A candy bar. A good human candy bar for the bubbles having. You knowing it? <laughs> Do you mean this? The bar of soap. Yes, wonderful. Thank you. Thanking you. Can I climbing now? Sure. Thank you, soap goblin. There's a gash in the wall of cactus here, re revealing a vein of purple, st uh, sticky purple goo. Ew. Pile of goblin junk. Okay. Hello, no climbing for humans. Too bad. Can I bribing you for letting me climbing? Hmm. Okay. What are you wanting? Cactus syrup. A delicious vein is being in the other room, but had losing my tap. Okay, I'm being right back. Uh, what do I need for that? I guess I'm going to wander away for now. Ark. A shirtless man in a tight, stretchy pants charges at you out of nowhere. No more. No more mushrooms. No more yogurt. Uh, no more exploring my inner conscious while running in place. I'm going to kill something. Kill it and eat it. Oh, crap. Twenty twenty two is just not Pipton's year, is it? What what's going on with him now? Oh, that sounds a little bit judgmental, but I I'm just actually genuinely concerned. I hope he's alright. Sorry. I clicked off again. No stream today and it's happened more often than last year. I'll I'll check on him later. Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to do that right now. I'm actually going to check on him right now. Where is it? Don't don't go off and like spam message uh, streamers. Uh, I find it a bit funny he said he won't be late to the stream this year though well I think it's 
I'm just I'm just hoping he's doing okay his first and foremost. Knock the guy unconscious and take his pants. On the assumption that the construction is probably squeezing all the blood out of his legs and overloading his brain. Kurtzfit pants. Main building, gymnasium. This is an actual town. A list of uh, draconian fitness rules the guests of the sanatorium here uh, had to adhere to. It's a scale, like a ruler before weight. Weigh yourself. According to this scale, you weigh 4 grams. You don't know how to use the scale correctly. Hmm. Here's worth of uh, height and weight recordings of the ranch's customers. It is the most boring book you've ever written this entirety. <laughs> it's a big ruler, like a scale before height. Measure yourself. Uh, according to this ruler, you are eight millimeters and or three millimeters and eight lignus tall. You don't know how to use this ruler correctly. Kellogg's up. Is that a ghost? It's Kellogg's desk. Whoa! Uh, hello. Hello. So you're a ghost, huh? Yes, it is. Uh, yes, it does appear so. And alas, without me here to instruct them in my regiment of purity, all my patients have fled. That's probably not exactly why. They're likely out ravaging the countryside within their own bodies. One cannot have purity of soul without the purity of the body, you know? What's this whole purity kick about, anyway? My threefold path to the elimination of corrupting influences. Would you like to hear it? Sure. The first step I call purity of the glands. One must rid them, uh, of oneself of all romantic and sexual desires and, see if any, and cease any self-polluting activities. Like what, smoking cigars? Well, yes, but I'm speaking more of, you know... Nighttime activities. Alone. <laughs> well, anyway, that's the first step. Okay, what's the second step? The second step is purity of guts. This is accomplished through frequent cold water enemas. The consumption of wholesome and nutritious, uh, nutritious grain flakes. Manufactured through my personal uh, scientifically developed recipe. What makes them any different from other breakfast cereals? Did you not hear me? This, uh, this, this recipe is scientifically developed. Nice cereal reference. <laughs> All right, third step. Uh, this final step is the purity of muscles. I've developed uh, an extensive exercise regimen featuring several workout machines that I have invented myself. Needs and all of this together, what was it? My regimen eliminates corrupting influences from the body and thus purifying the mind, body, mind, and soul. Well, it sounds like a good result to shoot for and it works. It certainly does, just look at me. You're dead, only coincidentally. <laughs> This desk is uh, scrupulously tidy. In fact, there's not so much as a desk butter or a single pen. It only has one drawer. Here, that's my desk. Keep out of it. You're incorporeal, so go ahead and try to stop me. Well, I never. <laughs> you find a binder full of cryptic, messily written notes labeled Kellogg's Grain Flakes Preparation. Ooh, 20 mysticality to decode the recipe, and I have it. You grab a sheet of paper and uh, consolidate the crazy series of notes into a more or less straightforward recipe. The recipe reads four parts barley, one part oats, three parts spelt. Pressurize to 91 PSI. Cook for eight minutes at 600 and 640 degrees. Holy crap. Show little books about enemas on the shelf. It's an ape skeleton from the Penix side, Murti. Sure, I'll take it. Fold it the ape skeleton and stuff, stuff it in your pocket. Okay. Hold on a second. I gotta... <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Keep, on, keep calm and enjoy nothing. What's my lockpicking hat? Is 
This bed is empty, this bed is empty. A scrap of paper under the pillow. It looks like a torn up part of a diary page. It's supposed to achieve purity of glands, but I can't stand sleeping in those metal pants. They're so, they're noisy, they're so noisy, especially when I, oh. When I jerk it. <laughs> this bed is covered in bones. Take the bones. There's a skeleton in this bed, and it's wearing weird metal pants. I got chastity pants. Uh, well. <laughs> Minus five moxie. These pants are optimally designed for preventing access to their contents. Nice. It's a combination of grain sifter, flour mill, who knows what. Its grain hoppers are currently empty. <laughs> Purity is the best sauce. I love how they tried to like mock the uh, the uh, Kellogg's K. Label of this thing says dope press. It's just a large oven, but it doesn't have a whole, uh, door, just a wide slot. So how do I use this then? Your body is still wrong. Okay. It's the Stressed Master 4000. Insert your limbs. You strap yourself into the machine and it allows you to inflict some warm up stretches on you. Keep going. Uh, the machine pulls too hard, which promptly yanks, yanks one of your shoulders out of its socket. Ow, ow, ow. No, you've had it with fitness. Maybe you can try again later. <laughs> it's the lung flex. Suck on the blast hole. Okay. You've had, no, you've had enough ex exercise for now. This place is terrible. It's the Vibromatic Skeletal Agitator. Oh, fuck. Alright. It's something a bit funny about this ranch. The fact that it's intact... Yeah, it doesn't even look rebuilt. I think the cows must have never touched it at all. So what do I do with this thing then? Oh, uh, maybe I maybe I need grains in the future. All right. Um. Maybe we'll just go to Breadwood. You notice a chill in the air and suddenly realize you've lost track of where you are. Sphix uh, seems spooked and you can't say you blame him. You spot what looks like a town in the hazy distance. Uh, but it turns out to be a hazy, t uh, t hazy town very close. The mostly transparent sign says, Welcome to Ghostwood. Sure, let's head to Ghostwood. <laughs> Saloon! All the buildings of this town are a little is, are weirdly hazy and translucent. Oh, like ghosts. It's a literal ghost town. This is hilarious. This is a regular cactus. Well, the ghost of a regular cactus. Well, the ghost of a regular cactus with the ghost of a pencil stabbed into it. I'm sure, I'll take the pencil. You try to grab the pencil, but your hand slips through it. Oh, what if I... What, eating the... Uh, you know, let's try eating a pickle. Level up grit to increase appetite. Okay. The ghostly jailhouse seems to be stacked up with boxes of old papers. You don't see any ghost criminals, but there usually isn't anything longer than life sentence anyways. Your fist makes a distant, echoey plap sound on the jailhouse door, and a ghostly voice comes out of nowhere. Nobody's home, excuse me, but never, never heard of you. Sheesh. Uh, you, instead of ghost horses, you see a lot of ghost filing cabinets. Does somebody want me around? Somebody's mounted a pencil sharpener on one of the balcony posts for some reason. You haven't got any pencils to sharpen. Your fist makes a distant equity plot, whatever. Now, howdy there, fella. New in town? Yeah, I was wondering if. Sorry I can't do business with you until you have a visitor identification card. 
Ain't supposed to even talk to you, really. Okay, where do I go? We'll try the town hall down at the end of the street. Okay. Uh, ah, visitor. You look like you, you'll be needing a visitor identification card. I guess so. I'll be able to help fill in the forms. Mostly living people have trouble holding the uh, pages. You'll be needing a number three pencil. If you're filling in the form, can't you use your own pencil? Uh, I will be, but the instructions very clearly says that the applicant must have a very three pencil. Or a number three pencil. Number three pencil isn't a number two, uh, the usual kind? I suppose, but a number three pencil is 50% more official. Okay. We're gonna get one. Try the Department of Requisitions. It's just next door. You mean the general store? It's a little bit more specific these days, but yes, okay. But I need a pencil for no ID and no supplies. Okay, what if I... Uh, general store won't give me a pencil without a visitor ID. No, certainly not. They aren't authorized to deal with anyone who doesn't have ID. So am I supposed to get a number three pencil? I suppose you could issue a temporary visitor permit. So you don't have a need a pencil for that one. Okay. What is your last name? Fire. First name? Final. Middle name? Nice. Okay, great. Where are you from, Final Nice Fire? A little farm up uh, outside Boring Springs, I guess. Well, it's not like much to look up, but it's home. That's nice. I'll, I'll write how many bars in the window of the adjunct department of records. Uh, it's a quiz to make sure you've actually been paying attention and care about a little town instead of just breezing through. To show your dedication. Uh, eight. Your hair is sign at the sound of uh, paper being torn up. Nope, go count them and try again. Okay, so there's two windows with six. Okay, so there's four in the door. One, two, three, four, five, six in the window. Alright. What's your last name? Fire. Final. Nice. A little farm outside Boring Springs. Not much to look up its own. Uh, six. Alright, everything seems to be in order. Here's a temporary visitor pass. Nice. Expires in 11 seconds. Excuse me. No problem. Just need to fill out a requisition form. Last name, fire. Oh, sorry, it looks like your visitor's permit has expired. Have a nice. Okay. Fire. Final. Nice. Promotes of Boring Springs. Not much to look at. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is beyond frustrating. Goldthwaite's Pico. Danger. I live where the wind takes me. Staying in dirt water. What? Six. Uh, this temporary pass is basically useless. Maybe there's somewhere you can also go find a pencil. I think you're wasting your time. It's impossible. Well, I can't take the... Oh. You managed to snag the pencil with the corner of the temporary visitor's permit and yank it out of the cactus. Nice. Oh, wait. This is a number four pencil. Okay, so maybe I need to take it to the ghost sharpener. Stick the number four pencil and grind, the, uh, grind it into the sharpener and grind it off about a quarter of it. You, oh, because I, I grinded off a corner of a uh, quarter of the number four, now I got number three. Wait a minute, did it just... It said sharpened ghost pencil, but it's blunt now. Alright, uh, number three pencil, here it is. That's number four pencil. No, it's 75% of a number four pencil. 
Well, I don't see anything about this in the bylaws. Very well, I suppose it will do. Let's get you started on the visitor identification permit. Thank God. Last name, fire, fire, final, nice. Final nice permit. What the fuck? Oh, what the hell did I call myself? Goldthwait, Pico, Danger? Uh, Boring Springs, Homie Bars, Six. What? Goldthwait, Pico, Danger, Dirtwater. How many bars in the windows of the adjunct department? Eight. I don't know. Adjunct Department of Records. Well, maybe it's ten altogether. <coughs> All right, Goldthwait, Pico, Danger, Dirt Water, ten. Correct. All right, everything seems to be in order. Allow me to officially welcome you to the town of Ghostwood. Here's your visitor ID. Thank you. Say, was it always called Ghostwood, or yes, total coincidence. Knock, knock. Hello, Mr. Goldthwaite. Can I help you service? Never mind. Knock on this. Oh, can I, uh, never mind. Knock, knock. Mr. Goldthwaite, was it? What can I do for you? Nothing, I guess. Department of Records. Can't think of anything. Knock. I need a drink immediately. No problem. Beer or whiskey? Uh, let's go whiskey. Good choice. Only one's problem, Paul. Matter of whiskey requisition forms. Am I going down to the administration and picking one up for me? All right, sure. Uh, whiskey recommend. Whiskey requisition form. Department of elevation. Sure, I can give you whiskey request. Is what I like to say, but I'm out of form transfer envelopes. Can't trans. Uh, can't transfer a form to a different department. The form transfer envelope to make sure it doesn't get tampered with during transport. You must be joking. No, sir, this is serious business. I'll tell you what, though, they have, should have a supply of spare form transfer envelopes. The form of work positions next door. Okay, fine. A hey, transform envelope. All right, which color? Color? Naturally, uh, different colors for different purposes. Tan for regular interdepartment transfers. Blue for extra municipal transfers. Red for emergencies. Green for bribes. Tan? <coughs> Okay, um... Red. The more I have to deal with bureaucracy, it's more of an emergency this becomes. Give me a red one. Cool. This is what customer service feels like, yeah. Choose transfer envelope. Ooh, a red one. You must really need that drink. Here you go. Uh, one work whiskey requisition form. Thanks. Knock. Ooh, a red transfer envelope. You must be really thirsty. Okay, let's get this filled out. Goldthwait. Pico. Danger. Can I get the whiskey now? Sorry, we're fresh out of whiskey. I hereby vow to destroy this place. I will raise the buildings and salt the earth. Now, now, don't get bent under shave. If you go to the department, if you go to the department of requisitions, they'll set up a set us up with a fresh case. I really hope this is good stuff, but I'm ha I'm having fun just doing this. Uh, 
the bar, I mean, the Department of Libations is out of whiskey. Uh, thanks for letting us know. We'll get a case sent over. I don't have to fill anything else? Nope, that'll be handed on delivery. Great. In two days. Hey, don't look at me that way. There's a lot of processing and forms for booze delivery. Oh, boy. I need to drink immediately. Beer. Goldthwaite. Pico. Danger. That matches your against your visit ID. Pico Danger Goldthwaite. Yep, that's fine. That'll be 103 meat, including the deposit on the bottle. Buy it. Ball of glass beer. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> I know damn well I would lose patience over this fast. <laughs> Alright, I guess I gotta wait two days for this. There's an open grave here, which is a little weird. Maybe they forgot to bury the body and I had to go back to get it. Man, I bet that would be really embarrassing. Uh, but hey, there's a few things in here already. Maybe they were just burying this junk and forgot to fill the hole back in. Skeleton Bone Gold Skull Old Wedding Ring. Hell yeah. Real quiet. Guess all the soldiers cleared out for some reason. The cannon still looks in decent shape. I wonder they didn't take it with them. They must have been in too much of a hurry to lug it with them. So why the rush then? Hmm. It's a Demi Culverin cannon. Look closely. Look at the cannon. It's a fine cannon. Demi Culverin size. Insert a cannonball. Look through the rangefinder on the cannon, but you can't see any indication of anything you want to shoot at. You decide not to waste the ball. Cool. There's nothing here. Looks like, missed, like, looks like they left the middle of the nerve. Pick up the leavings. Blood sausages and grits. Artillery targeting flare. Nice. Lock us. Artillery saber. Nice. Private Matau's uh, diary. Key to P.O. Box 114. Nice. Private Lemons diary. Alright. <laughs> it's private in two ways. Private Lemon's diary is pretty dry and not very interesting. Just a list of day-to-day -day duties with a straight-laced soldier up on the hills without, a, without anything to fight. Towards the end, though, it starts to mention their commanding officer, Captain Simon, becoming increasingly agitated and convinced that the nearby ranch was uh, being used as, as a spy outpost. Lemon doesn't sound convinced, but as one annoyingly vague entry puts it, orders are orders. The last few entries have to do with the descent in the ranks and the possibility of mutiny. Uh, the thought of which lemon abhors. The rest of the pages are blank. Private Lemon's diary is pretty dry and not very interesting. Uh, oh, I read the wrong one. <coughs> Sorry. Most of Private Mattel's diaries, empty pages, ink splotches, and latrine duty again, blah blah blah. Near the end though, you can start to see notes about the fort's commanding officer, Captain Simon, going off the deep end. As Mattel puts it, being stuck out here in the middle of nowhere is doing nothing, and doing nothing, uh, is driving the captain friggin' buck nuts, bug nuts. When the captain eventually decided that a nearby ranch occupied by a solitary woman and her book collection was actually an empty spy, enemy spy outpost, uh, Mattel felt compelled to warn the woman, but was too worried about getting court-martialed to give her any specific, specific details about the, of the looming threats. In an attempt to prevent an imminent cannon bombardment of the ranch, Mattel, some of the, Mattel stole some of the ballistic charts and hid them in a post office box during a shore leaving dirt water. This place doesn't have any damn shore, he comments. What the hell? Unfortunately, the cannons had already been calibrated when Mattel returned to the camp. 
he discovered the shelling had already begun. In his last entry, he declares his intention to start a mutiny. But the diary ends there with no conclusion to the story. This must have been where they stole all of the fire. <laughs> A goblin is wa uh, wandering the path, muttering and ranting aloud to itself. Why aren't you cramming an entire baguette, uh, baguette up your icing funnel? What, what? Go, uh, go marrying a bagel, muffin chucker. What? Where did you learn it talking like that? Finding a guide to human cusses, cake sucker. The goblin shows you a pamphlet listing a variety of uh, popular profanity. On the back, it says, brought to you by the Breadwood Board of Tourism. <laughs> Are they trash-talking you? Uh, no, they're bread-talking to me. <laughs> Teach them some new swears. Giving me this pamphlet, I am teaching you more better swearings. Oh, wow, yes, okay. <laughs> you wreck your brain for all the best things your uncle used to say when he was roaring drunk. And the goblin is suitably impressed. Nice. Am I, where am I going? Overdue oh. book, installed logging permits, shoop shortage, skeletons everywhere missing east, robbed Red Bank. Last time a mayor let out uh, last time a mayor let this list out get over three items, we chased him out of town with his breadstick nailed to the top of his head. Yikes. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I really have no idea what like what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't remember. I told you what I know about the mail, you son of a biscuit. Let me be at uh, the beer angle. Let's go. So, okay. Howdy, Hobart. Howdy, final. Still enjoying that Elton, uh, owl skeleton picture. Yes. This full locker is labeled H. Alloway and is very locked. The locker contains the key to itself and a few miscellaneous sundries. Halloway's pin. Silver label pin in the shape of a mining pick with jumble neck mine one year anniversary inscribed on the haft. Oh, nice. Uh, the sound of the ain't got no darts. Dang it. Okay. It's supposed to trade with it. Nice. Just sell it. It wasn't enough to get a gold uh, gold tooth. This entire this person had their entire skull replaced with gold. I wonder if they survived the process.
Well, I'm at 4,000 now. Oh well. Um, the, the only thing I can think of is going to Dirtwater to do some of those, uh, 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 postcards. Uh, you find P.O. Box 114, which you find at, uh, Fort Treason. You open the box, it's the empty, uh, it's empty except for a single sheet of cards stuffed with columns of numbers and tiny print. Fort Treason's ballistic chart. The chart is full of details on the precision firing of demi culver and artillery cannon. You know what? I bet that cannon would blow up the vault door at Alexandria Ranch if you could figure out a way to target it. Sure. I need some tra help tracking down some missing mail. Oh, I, fi I finally figured out how. <coughs> how do you mean? Mail delivery went missing on the way to Breadwood. I'm hunting on behalf of their mayor. The local mail station has a bunch of route maps, but I don't know which one I need. Well, that information ain't exactly secret, but I ain't supposed to give out order, give it out either. A delivery going missing is bad news, though. I suppose it's just it's all right just this once. Wait here a second. After a couple minutes, she comes back with a sheet uh, of note paper. Okay, so each map has a note code number on it. You see, based on region and direction of travel, she explains how to work out the code you need and gives you a sheet cheat sheet for reference. Sure. Uh, let's send a postcard. You already sent a postcard today? Ain't you heard of the Postcard Limitation Act of 1893? No, what's that? Okay, so the government, uh, the government put a restriction on prepaid postcards of one citizen per day. Now, why do you think that might be? Well, to just restrain on the postal uh, says, nope, that's what everyone guesses, uh, but that ain't a thing. The wagons still make the trip no matter how many postcards are on board. Less than we're talking so many postcards, you need a wagon, but it ain't likely. Uh, to restrict free flow of information. To keep people from being able to say too much through mail, so the left end of the territory doesn't know what the right is doing, and vice versa. That way they can implement a different rule of law in each area, whatever is most effective to keep people, uh, to keep in particular folks down. But people can still send letters? Pff, letters? Who's got time, <laughs> who's got time to write out a whole letter in this day and age? What? I haven't got to the real big part yet. What's the first two letters in conspiracy, huh? CO. Oh, jeez. That's right, they're in the league with the cows. It's, a, it's all a plot to keep us docile so they can deliver us those hell cows they summoned. And the government deliberately summoned the cows. There's proof. The, the plan was referred to and a rider attached to the Senate Farm Aid Bill was passed 11 years ago. And when, the cows, and when did the cows come home? That's right, 11 years. There's no way a sent up bill says let's summon cows from hells on it. No, not such obvious words. Are you cracked? It's all in code and dog whistles. Like, go look it up here for yourself. Okay, even if I wanted to do that, the capital city isn't even in this territory. It's a hundred miles, hundreds of miles away. Uh-huh, and you think that's a coincidence? A coincidence? incidents? Okay, well, it's very interesting by now. Guy's lost his marbles. Ah, yeah, Bill, sorry. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go to... Go to bed. You dream that you're trying on new hats while fleeing from a statue of, bo of a bone cube. For some reason, you get in a fist fight with a pale giant. You wake up drenched in sweat. Okay, then.
Caught a shiny Geo, dude. Hell yeah. What color is a shiny Geo, dude? You wake up refreshed and restored and hungry and sober. Let's mosey. Sleep. You go to sleep. You dream that you were singing old songs about death in a pitch black void. Weirdly, all your teeth fall out. You wake up ready to face a new day. Okay, then. And hungry and sober. Alright, so let's... This stuff is better not it's definitely not safe. Well, I guess we should keep it anyways, because it's decent stats. Drink the beer and a bottle fades from view. There goes your deposit. <laughs> beer ghosted. Golden orange. Ooh, that's a really cool color. Drink the bourbon. It, ta it takes a little while for you to feel the effects because the bread soaked a lot of it up. <laughs> and my cat is dragging his toy again. He really wants to play. Oh, he just, oh, it's really sad. He just gave me his toy and walked away. My cat likes to play fetch. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, have, to, I have to entertain the cat or else he gets grumpy. If I, you know what? I should have a cat cam. All right, back to the game. Tongue is extremely gross and its tongue came from a literally demonic cow. Are you sure you want to eat this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Read the tongue, trying not to think about the fact that you're basically, oh, I did this one. There. What is spleen? Oh, how many potions I can use in a day, okay. Coma's main. He sort of makes a glurk noise. Saddle up and let's head to... Ghostwood. You guys should see this. It's uh, Your own cats are the ones who own the human. Yeah, I know. But you guys should see it. It's, it's, it's so damn adorable. Like, he, he has this, like, stick with a string on it. But he likes to pick up the string and drag it through the house. But he just drags a stick along with him, and it's it's so cute. All right, where am I going? Ugh. Oh yeah, get the whiskey now. I need a drink immediately. Uh, did that whiskey show up yet? Sure did. And I think you'll be glad to hear that I say that whiskey requisition form for you that you already filled out. You're a saint. No problem. You want a shot or just the whole bottle? the whole damn bottle. Never mind. Just a shot. It'll be three. Oh, hell no. I, okay, at least we know that like the, the options there. If I ever forget, I want somebody to remind me, please. 
Your transponder bleeps, and the signal leads to one of those L vibrato robots, which is basically doing aimless donuts around a forest clearing. Hell yeah. Put that robot out of its misery or boredom, I guess, if you if you burn, uh, if you prefer not to personify it. Uh, two Alvarado scraps and a Valbrado keystone. Nice. What does a keystone do? Opens Alvarado locks. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, I think we should do next. Yeah, the Diaz. Thanks for my drawer. Scratch my back. Um, it's, a it's a human in the final stage of what's that whole Ash to Ashes thing. I never examined it. Thank you for the posture check. No, I wanted to go to Alexandria. Your alpha brother transponder thingy bleeps and you... And you follow the bleeps to a shallow cave that you think might be a bear den. Fortunately, the bear isn't there right now, but you and you find a weird crate at the back. Sure. You poke at the crate until you find the button that makes it open. Presumably, the bear won't miss his stuff. Scraps, punch card, and a teleporter. Woo. I wonder what kind of things we're getting into here. You see a word sign off the sides of the trail that reads Jumble Neck Mine 4 Miles. It's weird that they put a period on the sign. And it's weird that they bothered to carve individual hyphens in a greater, greater than sign instead of just carving an arrow in, in it. I'm going to continue where I'm going. Okay, cool. So now the flare is there. We can go to the thing. Rig the fucking artillery. There's no crate off the side of the trail. Looks like it's been that round for a while since reed, weeds and our cactuses have grown up around it. Depending on where you got this random event. Open up. You brush the weeds, cactuses out of the way and help yourself to randomly generated contents. I gotta love how this game is, like, self-aware. Uh, insert your cannonball. You peer through the rangefinder and at the distant smoke of your targeting flare. You consult the ballistics truck and turn the little knobs and cranks and stuff to the, to the appropriate places. 
You run around in your pack and find a match. Light it up. Boom, if that didn't open up the vault door, then those grapes are probably sour anyways. Let's go to Alexandria. Uh, percussive maintenance, nice. Uh, take what looks most relevant to your experience. Advanced bean craft, hell yeah. Books, books, books. How to cheat at poker. Nice. Greatest love poem I've ever written. Rich vein, poor vein. Gold medal silversmith. Oh, I really want that, like... Oh, I really should fucking get that next expertise. Learn uncanny presence. You read the poem and briefly lose consciousness. Uh, when you come to, you look at the margins of the book and see that the poem has been replaced with a crude drawing of you. Horrified, you destroy the book, just in case. The book is full of tips and tricks about the ancient art of fixing machines by hitting them really hard. Hm. Time to get smacking. It's a romantic spectrum awareness week. Uh, so to all people on the aromantic spectrum, including me, I'm aware of you. I am too now. <laughs> when you're done reading it, you notice the book's spine is cracked. You try to fix it by hitting it really hard, but you just end up just smashing the book to powder. Oops. A cheating part of the game of poker, but getting caught is doing is still disadvantageous. Uh, this book purports to turning your cheating into sneaky cheating. So I need th three lock picking for several things. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go to Jumble Neck Mine and Postal Way Station. You have a better chance of thing it bleeps and you follow the bleeps to... Okay, another bear den. Hell yeah, more stuff. <laughs> Jumble Neck Foreman's Mine, okay. Rocks, probably some mine leavings that got piled up here. Search the rocks. You poke around the rocks but don't find anything of interest. Except for the dust all over everything and the fact that the guy at the desk is a ghost. This, this looks like a regular foreman's mine. Okay. Grab the helmet. Nice. What calendar looks like work stopped here a bunch of months ago. Saves dirty but solid looking. Get away from that, the ghostly figure behind the desk crawls. Take a closer look. You stoop to take a closer look at the safe. It's a pretty standard heavy duty safe with a dial type connect combination lock. Hey, is something wrong with your ears? I told you to get away from there. Leave the safe. Yeah, let's leave the safe for now. Ghost is busily shuffling the ghosts of papers on us. Ghosts of papers. Oh, what a strut. <laughs> How's it going, Spug? Get I'm busy here. I got a mine to run. Take a hike, okay? Is the mine still running? I haven't seen anyone around. We're miners, kid. If you saw anyone up here, I'd have to fire them for not doing their jobs. Your calendar's out of date. What? Yeah, it's like six months old. I like the picture, okay? Scram. How's business? Oh, just great. F hunky friggin' door. You see this face? This is my happy face, and I'm double excited about answering questions from some random kid that wandered into my office while I'm working. Look how ecstatic I am. It's quite a silver tooth. Huh? Uh, you got... It's still quite a silver tooth you got in that sarcastic grin. I made it myself. I've made a few little silver trinkets in my time. Do you know you're a ghost? Do you know that you're a pain in the ass? No, I'm serious, you see me laughing? Fuck it, take a closer look. Try to open the safe. Uh, why you little, come here. Uh, I don't want to fight him just yet. Not yet. Barrel full of old grease, suck. Take some, what, just grab a handful? <laughs> no. <laughs> Gin blossoms, nice. 
You're good at it. You're getting good at this stuff. Green thumb. Oops. Do you know? Okay, just not a night. Yep. Nice. By the way, uh, uh, Sked told me earlier, but thank you for getting that eye that it's apparently the date I put on my uh, announcement was two years too early or too late. <laughs> I, I don't know why I put 2020. But, uh, I'm just thankful for it. Well, the rock is probably le mining left over. Search them. Oh, uh, there's a human skull hidden in the rock pile, and it's a little ominous. Silver tooth skull. Next. The elevator is pretty dusty inside. It doesn't appear to have been maintained for quite a while. It does still seem, excuse me, functional, but the control lever is chained and, lo and, chained and padlocked. You also notice that the shaft is totally silent. You'd expect to hear the rumbling of minecarts and the clanking of pickaxes echoing up from below, but there's nothing. Hop back out now. Alright, we really need to get the lockpicking. You're welcome. I love the accountant's eyes joke. <laughs> well, it's, uh, I, I, found it, I said that because, like, programmers are notorious for missing things. And, like, accountants are, like, the complete opposite. Which I, which I think is kind of funny, seeing as you and uh, Scare, you know, like, dating. You're cracked of a north south north southwestern lightning snake. What? Too bad you don't have a forked lightning rod with you. Wait, that wouldn't work at all, would it? Fight it anyways. Electric snakeskin. Nice. It was a little bit frightening, but your attacks were even faster than lightning. <laughs> That's hilarious. Stereotypes we fit into occasionally are pretty amusing. <laughs> it's like you threw it perfect together or something. Applied to hat. You wrap the snakeskin around your hat, and when you touch the ends together, there's a big spark that fuses the loop close. Hell yeah. Use a cheat sheet to find the root map that leads to Breadwood. Follow the map. Follow the map and along the route to Breadwood, you find a suspicious looking house. Chuck's house. Something about this house makes you suspicious. You can't quite, your po you can't quite put your finger on it. The place looks perfectly normal after all. But you can't shake the feeling that there's something very wrong going on here. Maybe you're just being paranoid. Unmarked, there's no name on it or anything. Approach the door hesitantly. You could be getting yourself into a real bad situation. Knock. You knock on the door. A voice calls inside. Come in. It's open. It's always open. What does my partner say? It looks like this tree looks like it wants a hug, but I don't recommend that. You probably just pretend to be friendly so it can suck out your soul. Something ain't right here. It's too quiet. It is pretty creepy. I feel like someone's watching us. I can feel the hairs on my neck standing up. Uh, I ain't scared of nothing. Why are we doing this again? Ugh. <laughs> Spock, I just realized that, like... <laughs> I've, I've always been kind of... I guess, against ships. But, like, I'm just... One one of the, one of those guys is just like a fanboying over you and you and uh, Skez relationship. <laughs> the door creaks open and you step inside inside the house. Terror is an absolute nightmare. The walls are covered with rusty chains and hooks, as but was as well as a variety of wicked looking knives and spears. A man of indeterminate age and slightly hunched posture grins widely as you enter, his eyes gleaming. He's standing near a large puddle of blood on the floor. 
Uh, I mean, might as well ship the Iron relationship. That's what I mean, yeah. I am not the biggest fan of, like, forced relationships. Like, I know there's a lot of people who are like, oh, yeah, these, these two should totally get together and all. Oh, like, if you think, uh, like, if you just go nuts and start yelling at people over quote-unquote ships, that's what bothers me. If you say something like, oh, yeah, those two would be cute together, then I think it would be, like, appropriate, but you gotta know your bounds. <laughs> if one character seems to be aromantic, there's no reason you should force it. My name is Chuck. Welcome to my little blood and breakfast. Your what? Blood and breakfast? Oh, sorry, I have a lisp. A lisp? Yes, it makes a lead sound. Uh, be dant breakfast. Also, tell me, I emphasize words oddly, but I don't get that at all. It's a large collection of steel chains and hooks, as well as knives, shoes, and other bladed implements. Everything is covered with rust or possibly uh, dried blood or possibly both. In my Phantom days, shipping wasn't my favorite thing, partly because of the near cultism surrounding some of them. I, that's exactly what bothers me. When, it, when he becomes cultist, that's when it, like... That's when I, when I get... Yeah. Ah, you've noticed my collection. Ah, yeah, it's dramatic. It all belongs to my father and his father before him. They were butchers. And you? I do a little bit, but not professionally. I broke, I broke with family and tradition to run a little blood and breakfast. Okay. So that's private? That's my blood room. Your what? My blood room. My bedroom. Oh, right, gotcha. Never mind then. Well, pantry sh a shelf with various tins and jars on it. Uh, there's nothing very unusual, but you do notice two jars of tea leaves labeled Sleepy Time and Earl Grape. Ew. Oh, grape tea? That sounds nasty as shit. Thankfully, a lot of people were against shipping IRL people at the time. Well, that's good, at least. It's a kettle on the stove, and it's still hot. There's a lot of blood on the floor here. I can't help but you notice you have a giant pool of blood on your floor. Blood? Oh no no. I can see why you might think that, as it's certainly... It's certainly... Rude-like blood? But this is tomato soup. Tomato soup? Yes, I spilled my lunch. Very clumsy of me. I was just getting started cleaning up when you... Cleaning up when you arrived. Chuck is, oh. Chuck is staring at you. You notice that his left eye has a tendency to drift sideways as he stares and when it resets when he blinks, which is not often enough. But any, uh, but a way. <laughs> if you think a ship is problematic, just ask yourself, was it wedged sideways in the Suez Canal stopping t What? If you want to ship 2012 Sherlock, great. Just try not to ship the actor with anyone. That's when it got weird. Yeah, when you when you ship like the actor themselves, that's when it becomes weird. Because people have their own like determinate lives. You can't exactly. It'd be like trying to ship Ryan Reynolds with, I don't know, Anne Hathaway. Like the two have never. I don't think the two have ever interacted. But like, one or both of them are in a happy relationship, and. Like, that's when it just becomes caustic, and that, like, people would get mad over that kind of shit. I, I don't fucking know. How can I help you? You said you were running a bed and breakfast here. That's what I, that's what I said, yes. Uh, what's on the menu? Homemade sausages and tomato soup. I also have a special tea. That, that's a real knockout. What kind of sausages? Long pork sausages, my grandfather's own recipe. Did you just say long pork? That's right, I make them longer than regular pork sausages. They're more filling that way. This is puzzling and uncomfortable for many different reasons. Has a mailman been right recently? Why yes, my last guest was a mailman. Such a nice fellow, it's a shame he's no longer with us. 
I hope you meant you just left. I th like to think you'll always be here in spirits. Yeah, special tea blend, whatever. Oh, you mentioned a special tea blend. Yes, it's a special herbal blend that puts my guests right to sleep. It's very effective. Can I have a look at the guest room? It's in the cellar, but I'm afraid it's unavailable at the moment. My last guest has only just checked out. I need to clean up the mess. Oh, thanks. This is beyond fucked. Final never clearly saw the memes about the evergreen ship that, it, that was intentionally stuck in a canal. Intentionally. I mean, I saw the news and whatnot, and I saw people joking about it, but I never... Didn't think it was intentional. Evergreen truck tipped over on a freeway loop, and that was a meme briefly. <laughs> It's locked, but it's locked to keep you out, or to keep something in. Oh, it's a plot code lock. Those things are unpickable. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused about what I'm supposed to do. You, you surreptitiously swap the labels. Chuck doesn't seem to have noticed. Oh, that reminds me. I left the kettle on. The water should be boiled by now. Would you care for a cup of tea? No thanks, I'm good. Chuck pours himself a cup of tea and sips at it while staring at you. Af after a bit, he starts to look drowsy. Oh my, I'm coming over all sleepy. Perhaps I should get my lid down for a few minutes. It's been a long day. Please excuse me. Sure. I don't know how this plays out, but I won't say anything. But I don't know how to play through this. Chuck's creepy bedroom. Going through Chuck's drawer seems like a maybe not a good idea. There's a key on top of the dresser though. Yoink. Yoink indeed. Chuck's sleeping pretty soundly, but you should be careful not to wake up anyways. You unlock the door and steal yourself for what you're about to see. Hmm. It doesn't look nearly as horrific down here as you expected. Unless you're uh, particularly horrified by an unmade bed. Oh. You sling the sack of mail over your shoulder. Neither rain nor sleet nor super creepy BNB proprietors. Books off our previous guests, see if there's anything good. There are quite a few good books here on actually. Oh nice. Advanced another advanced bean craft. Locks and how to pick them. Intermediate next mix. Oh wow. Alright. You've already learned all the techniques in this book, but you do manage to pick some up some tips and tricks from the notes of previous owners left in the margins. Find a library and donate the book to it. Nice. What do you learn there is to teach you? Okay. This mid-tier next max textbook teaches you how to replenish your blood supply by stealing blood from the living room. Keeping enough blood inside you is important to necromancers and civilians alike. Vampiric Yodel. Okay. Are certain the dark cards are no left meta? This could really mess you up. Read it, I said. Uh, as you read the words in the book, a voice in your head, or a voice that is not your own, howls 
along with them in your head. As you get nearer to the end of the book, the howls become more and more melodic. Vampire Yodel. As you turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. You don't feel so well. Your body withers and shrinks. You gotta perk emaciated. Every next mix book you read after the first gives you a buff. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, it's just muscle. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not giving two shits about that. You're climbing out of the cellar. A mailman approaches you. Oh, thank goodness. You found my mail. This mailbag is yours? Yeah, I've been stressed out lately. I took a day off and rented a room here for a sort of mini vacation. Chuck's a great guy. A little weird, I guess, but a real personable. And his cooking's great. The tomato soup and those great big sausages. His tea did wonders for my insomnia, too. It did seem pretty effective. Anyway, I got, forgot my mailbag. I wasn't sure where I left it, so I've been retracing my steps for ages. Thanks for finding it. Sure, no problem. Here you go. Mimin walks away with a bag over his shoulder, whistling a chill for tune. Well, that's sort of, I guess. Well, at least we got that sorted. I think one of the debuffs affects your mysticality, but I'm not sure. Okay. You're the crack of a rifle, and, the, and a lead bee buzzes past your ear. I call bullets lead bees sometimes. Off the distance, you see a skeleton with a rifle. It looks like he's lining up another shot. Challenge his abilities. Hey, excuse me. Technical question. How can you possibly be aiming at that rifle without eyeballs? The skeleton thinks about it for a moment, then overthinks it, and then finds himself... Or then him finds his self unable to aim anymore. Hissing curses, he stomps away to find an opt uh, optometrist. Nice. Found the missing mailman too. He's on his way to deliver it. Excellent. I hope there's a new issue of Mayor's Monthly. Sounds informative. The mayor glances at the list of problems posted on the wall and paces around nervously. Uh, look at the problems board. Uh, long overdue book. A library has only got four books, so it's serious when someone doesn't return one. I reckon say it was loaned out to a lady uh, name of Alexandria. It was a couple of mayors ago, so I don't know her, but I've, we've got an address. Logging permit. We're running out of trees around here, and we need to expand our operation a bit. The problem is, we need a logging permit from the next town. And the whole place is, and the whole place is up and dead before the paperwork. Oh fuck! All right, I guess we're going to ghost place. Do these while you can, because you cannot do them after finishing the segments. Okay. Why did I go to check us? The transponder beeps, indicating a spot on the horizon. You spurs fixed toward it to investigate and find a well. Just a well. <laughs> Damned well stop to investigate it. Transponder goes ape as you get close to the old well. Attach a rope. A well roped well. Whoa. It's lifeless. Is there anything you eat, drink that you uh, don't really like but keep buying anyways? Um. Uh. 
I don't really. One if if one one thing I do buy sometimes that I can't eat raw is cauliflower. I always gussy it up with some like butter and breadcrumbs. My dad taught me that recipe, and it's it's always that's me with sugar-free Red Bull right now. Ew. Bunch of paper cards on this table. Grab them. Cool. Single button on top of this machine. Press it. I don't know. The screen says Habuno Statute Zom. There's no buttons, but there's a very thin slot underneath the screen. Actually, well, let's put it in a punch card. Uh, you insert the card into the slot. The machine screen. Uh, the machine screen springs to frenzied activity. You can't consciously make sense of what you're watching, but when you when it's over, you know things you didn't know before. Uh, you learn the Elva brought a word for matter and north. Okay, let's answer another one. South system and maintenance. Refreshment cash. Machine return west. So I got west, south, north. Insert east. Bridge headwear. Offline disposal coffee maker. Construction cannon destination. You press the button and a machine speaks. A voice says poo poo. <laughs> Seven buttons appear on top of the platform. Look at them. Press the first one. Terminal mitts are harsh buzz. Seven buttons disappear and the original button appears again. Okay, press it. Press the first one. Okay, press the second one. Terminal admits a reassuring no tone. You have learned the Elva brought a word for the number one. What does sugar free Red Bull taste like? I, I assume it tastes like crap. And then. Ganila. Anan. Alright, Anan is two. Stasta is one. Ganila. Let's try the first one. The number is zero. The order, co the order corresponds to a number. I think. Vaguely like bubblegum. Ew. I, I never liked the flavor of artificial. Like, when, when you get, like, bubblegum ice cream, I think that shit tastes disgusting. For some reason, sugar-free tastes better than the regular one to me. I'll just if you enjoy it. Poo poo is the... Fifth one? Fourth one. Sixth one. Nietzsche boo. I don't think I've done the third one yet. Okay, poo poo is six. Is it the third one? Nope. Voice says, oh. Where's the first one? Otata would be the third one. 
book. Six one. Which one haven't I pressed yet? Artificial sweetener aftertaste combines well with the ca caffeine aftertaste. Look at you sounding like a uh, one one with a massive palate. <laughs> uh, which one haven't I done? Fifth. Oh, okay, there we go. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, so two, five. Four, two, seventh, six, two, four, Hotata. <laughs> I'm just going to leave now that I actually know things. Where's the place? Is it Garbanzo? Cross paths with water and cell again. How how to find out it's just trading. You bet. Let's go let's fix. Uh, I don't remember. Oh yeah, ghost wood. Passed by two skeletons who are facing each other uh, with their arms akimbo in the traditional shootout stare down pose. When you stop to watch what happens, they both turn and look at you. Whoops. Seventy nine. Do you have the safe Kraken skill? I do not, no. I should probably get it. Sorry, my cat's just doing something really weird on my arm. He's like... Twisting and turning, sticking his arms directly out wide. She was selling the book, A Guide to Modern Safes. Yeah, but I'm trying not to spend like all my money just so I can actually like uh, buy that like six thousand dollar bean. Uh, geez, fine. I'm here on on behalf of the mayor of Breadwood. You need a permit to do some logging in this area. Well, I see there shouldn't be a problem. I just need to review the logging records to make sure that there's no disqualifying incidents. 
Go down to the Department of Records. It's two doors down. And tell them I need the Breadwood file pertaining to logging. Not yet, I'm just stealing myself in anticipation. Yeah, I think... I think maybe eventually I'll just work... or Because I, I had a webcam that was kind of crap. That I used for... Uh, doing like face tracking but as you can see I'm not exactly face tracking anymore I haven't for a long time because to be honest uh, my recliner leans back so far that the webcam can't exactly pick me up so I might just realign it so that uh, like it actually is just staring at the cat bed oh my boy's having a scared, scared time You can feel the hydrate and posture track though. <sighs> Hello, Cam? Yeah. I, d I did some stretching and my cat stretched too. Knock knock, Mr. Goldthwaite, was it? What can I do for you? I'm supposed to pick up a file in the town of Breadwood. Oh, you want the Department of Records? It's next door. This is the adjunct Department of Records. Okay, thanks. One moment, please. Breadwood, Applewood, Antiwood, Badwood. Do you mean Bagglewood? No, it's Breadwood. Must be a suburb. Beaverwood, Bestwood, Bitterwood, Bloodwood. Ah, here we are. Bitterwood. Which section did you need? Logging records. That section has been downgraded from disuse. You'll need to pick it up from the adjunct department of records next door. Naturally. Bring it back here when you got it. I'll put it in for an official interdepartment trans document transfer folder for you. Is that necessary? Yes. Absolutely. Can't transfer documents between departments without an interdepartment document transfer folder. It's unthinkable. Fine, fine. Uh, the Department of Records sent me over to pick up a file. Which file? Log reports for the town of Breadwood. Alright, one second. Here we are. But what's wrong? Those peaches are all loose. I can't give them to you like this. What if they blow away? We're just taking them next door. They're giving me a documents folder. It'll be fine. No, no. What if there's a freak gust of wind as soon as you leave here? It would be chaos. So what do you propose? This is, no, this is definitely how people who work at customer service feel happy. Well, fortunately, I happen to be one person in town of uh, officially authorized to use a stapler. So you'll staple them together for me. I'll be glad to. But, but I don't have a stapler. Of course you don't. Don't worry. All you have to do is go to the Department of Requisitions next door and requisition one. If I bring a stapler, you give me the file? Yep. Okay. Uh, need to requisition, requisition a stapler. All right. We need to fill out a requisition form. Gold plate. Pico. Uh, danger. Cake or pie? Your d d user preference. C cake or pie? Uh, pie. Ugh, well, despite that, everything seems to be in order. I'll get this file. Here's your stapler. And yes, I prefer pie over cake. A special gl uh, the glass doesn't shed a winter up. Fell for the shadow. Uh, search up, like, a very bouncy glass bottle or something. That's, that's the shit that amuses me. Ah, there's nothing better than a new stapler smell. I can have that logger report now. You bet. Kerchunk, here you go. Fetch a staple and wind resistant. Uh, I would laugh if, like, you went here and, like, the things blew away and you'd have to go, like, do something else. I'm back with those papers. Alright, let me just transfer you into those official interdepartment document transfer folder. Here you are. I got that file for you. The Breadwood Logging Records. Fine, let's have a look. Oh, for the love of... That idiot stapled the pages together right in the middle. This is why we took the damn sta stapler away in the first place. The file the file is unreadable. You're going to have to take it back and tell them to unstaple it. Fucking... Okay. Administration wants you to unstaple these papers. Oh, sorry. I'm only authorized for stapling, not unstapling. Try the next department... I have an unstapler there. 
Knock knock, department of records, whatever. Need some papers unstapled. Fully authorized unstapler, that's no problem. Spoke too soon, did you? Oh, it's just that I don't see the staple remover anyway. So, oh, that's right, the Department of Libations borrowed it. To open beer bottles. The other department's staple remover. Sure do that thing pops off beer bottles like you wouldn't believe. So as long as it removes staples, I'll be happy. I imagine it does, but I'm afraid I'm not authorized for unstapling. You'll have to look back over at records. Here you are. Use your staple remover back. Let me just have a look at these papers of yours. Tis, tis. A junk record is up to his old tricks again, I see. These don't even need to be stable. That's what the interdepartment uh, transfer folder is, for after all. Here you go. Oh, fucking finally. Hey, Sawyer, how's it going? Alright, back with an unstapled breadwood logging file. Alright, let's hope. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, I can't see any problems with this. I'm frankly amazed. Let's get started on the paperwork for that logging permit. permit. I am no longer amazed. Last name, gold plates, uh, Pico, danger. Alright, let me check that. Uh, okay, fine. I just need to stamp here and sign here and now you sign here. And also here. And initial here. And here. And sign here. Good, now just take this back to the mayor of Bedwood and have him sign it on the line here and initial over here. Are you kidding me? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Alright, back to Breadwood. This is going to be funny to watch. How's the stream? The stream is going well. I, I'm enjoying this game and I have a cat on my arm and I have people to talk to. You're not frankly amazed you're Pico Danger Goldthwait. <laughs> Excuse me, Mayor. I have some papers for you to sign for that login permit. Oh, Oh, ghost paper, this stuff is weird. I got a ghost pencil for this, I don't have a pencil. Here you can borrow mine, sign down here and initial here. After some fumbling with the ghostly pencil, the mayor eventually manages to sign an initial form. Our mayor, I'll be back soon with that permit, God willing. Good luck. <laughs> uh, back to ghost one again. Anyway, so how are, you, how are you doing, man? Got the major signature on this login permit form. Great, just send us the last line at the bottom where it says receipt. Is something wrong? You cover your face with your hands. I loan the pencil to the mayor. Excuse me while I go kill everything. Oh, for the love of fuck. Of the trail shoulder, you see some ancient petroglyphs carved into a rock. Translate them. They seem to translate, my fourth is the fourth of nothing but time. Intriguing. Just finish some sandwiches. Nice. What kind of sandwiches you made? Yes, you still have my ghost pencil. I need that. Oh, terribly sorry. I think it's haunting my beard. Ah, here you go. Oh, fuck off. As Fix carefully navigates a bunch of weird rock formations, everything suddenly goes silent. Everything except the racing of your pulse, that is, because you've stumbled across a horrifying ungolith. Sure. What the fuck am I looking at? Crush that stone cow into cow powder. Susie has become stronger. Bologna sandwiches? Nice. Any sauce in that? Like mayo or mustard? Okay, got the major signature on this login permit form. Just sign up this last line at the bottom where it says receipt. Alright, that's everything taken care of. Redwood's logging permit is hereby approved. Finally, wonderful. Proce processing will take about 48 hours. What? Everything has to be filed and the actual permit has to be printed and so on. You can pick it up in two days. I am going to kill someone. There's a smoldering hole in the ground and recognizes the habitat of the southeast western coal snake. They keep to themselves, but mostly they're known to enjoy a fire if one is just upon them. Thrust the fight. Mm. 
It's not a bologna sandwich if there's no mustard and cheese. Nice. My mother always puts mustard instead of my, uh, or mayo instead of mustard, though. Put the steak back in the ground, though, with slightly different scents. Hell yeah, coal snake skin. What am I doing here? You dream that you're shopping for belts with a giant squid while fleeing from a bag of sticks. For some reason, you go out drinking with the giant squid. You wake up quite refreshed. Oh, fuck. I just wasted all that food and whatnot. You dream that you're singing old songs about death buried under deep underground. And then you get married to a poem. You wake up ready to face a new day. Did you have a good first week? Oh, it's 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 after my first. Oh then. All right, let's eat a hot dog. I don't even know what I was supposed to be drinking. It is a great choice, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of having it just alone. I feel like mustard is that just enough spice or like enough extra flavor, I mean, to like help out. Aye, what the heck? A ranting, flailing man that has just burst out of the wood is running straight for you. He's wearing a strange domed metal hat, which bristles with wires and odd protrusions that crackle intermittently with bright blue sparks. He seems upset. Try to calm down and examine his hat. Oh, okay. calm down, buddy. Cool it. It's not going to hurt you. The voice it speaks. Yeah, what's it? What? That's telling me you to cool it. What is that thing on your head? These bulbs and coils look a bit off like the stuff my kid brother's always messing with, only a little more complicated. Niar. A loud pop and bright blue flash blinds you momentarily, and when your vision recovers, the man is lying with his eyes rolled all the way back into his head. Eesh, poor guy. What the hell was that about? <laughs> Pick up the strange helmet that's stowed carefully in your pack. Nice. At least it's the actual. At least there's actual death tutorials on how to submit. So if commands like uptime, yeah. Sort of fucking good if you just called mustard spicy. I know I don't. I didn't mean spicy as in like, like spicy spicy. I meant spicy as in like spiced. Does that make sense? Not not like like adding adding salt and pepper, garlic, onion powder, paprika, that kind of shit. This is like the birds again. <laughs> One maximum AP, but decrease on all stats. Shit. Alright. Is that Breadwood Log Improvement ready yet? Let me look. Ah, yes, here it is. And there you are. Northeast, north, central logging. Oh, please don't tell me this is the wrong area. I've just done anything to collect it. Nope. Are you sure? No, sir, that's it. Holy crap. <laughs> Were you able to find that missing library book? Not yet. Did you manage to get that logging permit yet? Yes, finally. Lots of stuff like going to improve the situation around here. I just hope to never see another form again. <laughs> Mary glances at the list of fucking okay, whatever offer, offer to help. Your soup shortage. We keep <laughs> like a spice. He literally said spice. And I just thought, oh no, final. Listen, I. Uh, I was never the big fan of, like, spicy, spicy foods, like things with hot sauce. But actually, my dad bought me a, a hot sauce, like, a month or two ago. That was like a, uh, oh, I don't want to, it was like a jalapeno pear hot sauce. And it's actually really flavorful, because now I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to, uh, like, experiment with more foods that require a little bit more spiciness to it. 
or at least just adapt a little bit more spaces. I'm not gonna, I'm not a big fan of like the thought of incinerating my mouth just for the shits and giggles of it, because I feel like that would just ruin the flavor of things. I'm a ghost pepper kind of guy, to be honest. I, you, no offense, you do seem kind of like a ghost pepper kind of guy. <laughs> the reason I said I do these while well, you can is because the unfinished ones will be locked afterwards. So do all the ones you want. Okay, so I should finish all of them and then just kind of like acquire them afterwards. Like spicy food, I can handle spicy natural Doritos, but those are even spicy. <laughs> Municipal soup kitchen open to those who are down on the luck, which is pretty much everybody around here. We ran out of soup, and we need to go somewhere to fetch more from the soup stock load. Okay. Stolen yeast. We take our yeast supply very seriously here in Breadwood, and the thing yeasty gang made off the whole lot. A couple of fellas said they saw them loitering around the old brewery, so that's probably where they made their hideout. We need that yeast back. Yeast! <laughs> yeast! <laughs> The Baker Boys cleaned our bank right out, and it's not a bit fabulous if you ask me. Fortunately, I haven't been too secret about the location of their hideout. Can you get our bread back? I mean, the place is called Breadwood. Well, we have to have some bread. Alright. We need to go to the soup stock. Let's do soup first. Rise across the lonely desert, and a scrap of paper blows into the field of view. You grab it and discover that it's a half finished crossword puzzle. Solve it. You definitely fill in the answers with the rest of the clues and responsibly deposit the puzzle in the nearest appropriate trash receptacle. A gulch. I need some yeast for the bread ball I'm making. That needs extra oomph. Are you actually making a bread ball? Yuck, a yucca. <laughs> Somebody bent their yucca. This pile of tailing smells a lot like onions. No lol, I don't know how to make bread. I wish I knew how to make I know how to make bread, but I can't make it like fluffy. Usually ends up like really dense and stale. This card is overflowing with savory tailings. I found some unrefined my unrefined meat nuggets. And I got a mind splaining bonus. I can cook, I can't bake. I can I can bake like cookies and shit like that. I just can't bake bread. These lockers have been pretty picked over. Look, search them. Can of kerosene and some smelling salts. There's a toolbox on this bench, but it's locked. And then, uh, well, it's the bench. Pick the lock. Hammer and a monkey wrench. Nice. Pool of boiling soup. Grab it. Using a bread bowl, you scoop some soup. A knapsack. Search it. It's mostly filled with trash, but you do find a spooky white mask. Weird. Cultist mask. Okay. Who's camping here left in a hurry? There's a diary under the crude pillow of this bedroll. Entry 1. This mine is the worst. It sucks so bad here. I have been in some lousy mines, but this one really takes the cake. Everything smells like soup. The walls are slick with it. I swear, I can feel it getting into my pores. If I went to a doctor for a blood test, he'd probably tell me my blood is tomato-based bit. Tomato basil bisque or whatever. Ooh, that sounds good. I list the lifts far up north of the blistering cold. Soup and curries for days. I've been meaning to try to cook a curry. I I, I got some Greek yogurt. And I have some curry powder, and I I like I I've heard that's kind of the basis of what you need. Like I know there's other ingredients to it, but I want to kind of make a chicken curry. I can't do either, but I can burn myself the process of trying. Scare scared the shit out of me when I was cooking the other day and I burned myself. Oof. Greek yogurt, no coconut. Problem is, is that, like, first of all, the Greek yogurt was on discount, so that's a positive. But I also found a recipe that used Greek yogurt, so I wanted to try that. If 
finally managed to get deep enough to hear the master, but it turns out the dank soup table is higher than we thought. We're spending 90% of our time bailing the stuff out and only 10% digging. I've got noodles in my boots. I hate this so much. Now the damn elevator's busted. It's always making a rattling noise like the, and the guys off shift couldn't sleep. That finally stopped, but it stopped moving, but it stopped because the elevator itself stopped. And we can't move at all. Why did we even set up camp here? I spent the whole day scrounging around to find replacement 13759 and 23 uh, pound compression rings for repairs. We'll install them tomorrow. Bosses were giving up here and heading into a real deep mine they found up northwest. It's a shame we waste all this work, but hot damn it'll be a good way to get away from the soup. I will never eat soup again in my life. Got the hot springs installed proper like, with the strongest behind the shortest bolt and so on. There's no time to wrench everything down. Gotta pack. Not like the elevator matters much anyways anymore. I really hope I don't screw up again and forget my diary where... When it's time to leave. I don't think I've ever managed to fill more than a 10 page of the same diary. Okay, so... Smack the elevator to shape. Try to let me know how it tastes? I will. I mean, I'm always down for, like, trading recipes if you ever, like, want to, like, shoot the shit for cooking, you know? I, I love cooking. Like, it's one of my favorite pastimes. You see, th like, you see three different size bolts on the side of the elevator, which are all very loose. There's a sign that says, uh, 3,200 pounds pressure required. And some sort of gauge that currently reads zero, whatever that means. <laughs> You smack the elevator in the, in the exact right spot to correctly position all three of the bolts. All days work. Your Alpha Broder transponder goes crazy when you get into this crack. Breakthrough. Ooh. El Vibrato Fluid. Cusono, Crocus, Tasto, Benocaro, Offline. I, let, I, like, I think I like cooking more of the ticking time bombs that are very time sensitive smoke alarms weren't lurking above me. I, I, uh, I totally agree. Though, to be quite honest, and this is probably going to be the, like, dangerous to talk about, when I lived in my old apartment, there was one of those smoke detectors right above me. And you want to know what I did? I pulled it off the ceiling and hid it under my pillow whenever I cooked. Thankfully, it was just one of those ones you could just reach up, twist off, and pull off. There was a couple of times where I accidentally set off the hall smoke alarm. But at, like all, all I had to do was quickly just uh, throw my towel against the uh, the front door of my apartment. Like the, 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 like the bottom half so like I can just, I guess, seal the door so the smoke doesn't get out. I just crack windows. Uh, the screen on the machine says, because I know Crocus Tasta, but I'll curl offline insert Crocus Tasta. A light pulses in a pentagonal aperture on the side of this machine. Insert fluid. Uh, three buttons appear on the screen. Crocus Refreshment. A glass tube filled with bubbling fluid clinks into the aperture. I got seltzer. Ooh, that shit's good. Uh, Crocus Chocasta. Food cube. Gachikas. That's not too bad. More soup. There are hundreds of snakes lounging around this pool of hot soup. Soup snakes. <laughs> I think the ones are rigged to go up if you try to rip them out of the ceiling. If they aren't, I don't want to fuck around and fight out. I mean, that's understandable.
Oh, come on. Whatever. There's a lot of heat, but you can take it. Nice. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter much anyways. We'll be out of here in a few weeks. Nice. Where are you going? I just have to go back to dealing with my parents' old ass kitchen. Well, Spug, if you're ever up for it, I'd love to trade some recipes with you. I'd like to learn a little bit more myself and to share my knowledge. Did I tell you how yesterday the software I used deleted the sketch I worked on for an hour? It was not a fun time to trace it. Aye. Alright, so I did the soup, I think. I need to remake... That would slap, to be honest. I need to remake a Piss Corp account. <laughs> Had a big crate, which probably fell off a wagon on its way to a ranch or something. Unless you, unless you maybe just grew here a while, you haven't seen a lot of weird-looking cactus in your travel. Handful of nails, ranch dressing, ranch punch, smelling salts, surgical gin, nerve pills. Hmm. This this bakery has definitely seen butter days. Take an hour to retrace my own art, but still, I'm generally upset. At, to have the hours worth of line art deleted. Yeah, it, crashes and shit always just bother the fuck out of me. Like uh, that's that's the one problem I have with softwares is that it's like a lot of a lot of things just use up a lot of like information for no reason. Uh, but uh, like there's never anything optimized. Like take take modern games nowadays compared to like Nintendo 64 games, where things had to be optimized to Kingdom Come. Like there's nothing like that anymore. These teenagers seem dispirited and are trying to drown their swords with big mugs of water. Maybe they understood the misunderstood the idiom. Hey boys, one happens to know about some bread that's missing, wouldn't you? Oh nuts, I told you we'd get in trouble, Billy. Shut up, Jerry, just wait to just blab everything, dude. Calm down, you two. The mayor just wants his bread back. Hand it over and the trouble uh, you're in will be minimal. It ain't that simple, mister. We sold that bread for meat to start up this bakery. Why? Because we wanted to make something of our lives. Everyone in Breadwood is just bums. Plus, like, everyone needs bread, right? So we figured we'd make it big. Okay, we make it big. Uh, we take the mayor of the bread you've made and call it even. Oh yeah, no problem. Except for the fact that we don't know a dang thing about making bread, it turns out. All we ended up is with weird lumps. Oh, that ain't true, Billy. This last hope we tried was almost right. Yeah, that one was nearly edible, but we're practically out of ingredients. Maybe I can help. Heh. <laughs> I don't have time. I don't have time for this. Look, I know cooking magic, just give me whatever ingredients you have left. But then we won't learn how to bake it ourselves. Do you want to be bakers or just stay at a, or do you want to stay out of jail? The boys grumble and then turn over the last remnants of their ingredients. We managed to get enough bread out of them to satisfy the mayor. Oh no, local weed. My horse would be in that shit. Oh, so your dancing scare gremlin is super cute. Twitch still hasn't proved it. Really? What, what did he call it? I know, I know a lot of it's like... Like, Twitch is just butthurt about like the names of things. Transmitter beeps and still... Okay, let's approach it. Put that robot out of its misery, or boredom, or I guess existence if you just prefer not to person personify it. There's a shovel here. It's a caretaker shanty. 
He's not here right now, so I can't ask? Ah, okay. What on earth is Sked doing? <laughs> you poke around in the shed. The caretaker appears to have been shirking his duties for quite a while, judging by the dust and cobwebs. Looks like the mayor was right about having him wandered off. Guess you're gonna have to fetch him back here to do his job. The tools. Well, tools singular. There's a shovel here. Does you already have a shovel? You leave it alone. It's not like you'd be able to dig twice as fast. True. Go to the chair. Like all chairs owned by one guy, it has a year's worth of lint and food crumbs underneath of it. Ha! Ha! Oh. Scope of the desk. It's covered with old paint spattered newspapers. Features a large collection of tiny jars of paint. As well as a jar of fine tipped brushes, a can of thinner, and a stack of history books. Find a flyer for Mi Military Reenactment Enthusiast Society. Apparently, they meet regularly at Fort Memoriam. Yeah, that's the care of the character works. Thanks, bugger. <laughs> Beyond the gate stands countless rows and columns of tombstone. Well, they're not actually countless. I've counted them, and there's 99, 999 of them. Uh, you can visit an individual plot by number if you'd like. Visit a plot. Uh, let's go 64. You approach the grave. It reads, Sergeant Jake White, 9th Cannoneer, Divi uh, 9th Cannoneer Division. Uh, the soldier bearing here is making a lot of noise. This fix isn't here to do it, it's up to me. Ha! Oh, hell. Ford, plot 420 is completely overgrown with mushrooms. You root around and, and lose shroomage and find a book. Coincidentally, it's a book about mushrooms. Why is it 420 was the one that was about mushrooms? Roger Grave, it reads. Uh, First Lieutenant Seth, Dewitt, Seth Whitney Jr., 69th Innuendo Division. <laughs> so somebody give me a number. We've already been to 64, 69, and 420. 963. And then we'll do 46. The portrait grave it reads Private Harold Meadows, 76th Pyrotechnics Division. The grave is quiet. There's different plots. And we said 46. Nope, 46. Uh, your brochure grave it reads, uh, 47th, 7th, Chef, Chef Medic Division. That's really weird combination. You can hear this grave's resident scratching at his coffin. Sure. Oh. I love the bean golem. Be the skeleton and stuff what's left of him back into the grave hole. Nice. Right, I want to try one more.
approach the grave, it reads, Private Juliet Nelson, 42nd Infantry Division. Division. Alright, let's... Alright, cool. Let's, let's turn off flame. Oh. Caution, do not touch eternal flame. Is, is, is this burning eternal flame? Yes. A goblin is roasting a weenie over the eternal flame. I am pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. No is good fire, not to wasting it. The flames are over, the flames over that way are all short lived and uninteresting. Nice. Uh, I don't know if I want to fight this guy. You know what? Fuck it. How many sausages does he have? Holy shit. Teach the goblin not to play with fire, at least not special commemorative fire, and not while you're around. Goblin Bratwurst, nice. What does that do? Muscle by 10, but reduces moxie. Oh. A little cluster of gin blossoms, sure. Oh, what the hell? The fellow she's scared to talk to you is totally freaked about yeast. It says beer hose. You're not sure what purpose that might have served. It's a beer vat, or at least it's a vat. It's not guaranteed to actually contain beer. It's almost pure ethanol. Nice. The nice guy's hat got knocked off and it's covered with yeast. Yeast covered a hat. Nice. That yeast beast seems to have killed this guy pretty thoroughly. Some kind of crazy yeast monster has apparently broken loose from the vats and eaten some of the bandits. I guess they brewed up something they couldn't uh, put down and the bar barley controlled it. I'll top on it if you want to prevail here. Well, that's not too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult. Nice. You beat the yeast beast to a pulp. Hooray! The remains of the horrible yeast beast. I guess he could probably take some back to the mayor. It's probably still good, right? Half a ton of yeast. <laughs> That's a lot of yeast. So this whole yeast theft biz doesn't have to seem going well for you guys. Yeah, no, I... Ah, uh, jeez, are you a bad hunter? Relax, the mayor just wants his yeast back. He didn't say anything about hauling you in. Ooh. Well, at least the yeast isn't a, that revolting pile. So what happened here? Well, we got bored of bread, is all. I know about, I know a bit about brewing and figured we came back with a couple pigs. So don't be mind if we stole that much yeast. No offense, but you seem like you aren't much of a brewer. Hey. Well, ideally, you wouldn't end up with such a ravenous yeast monster. That wasn't my... Okay, well, I guess it wasn't my fault, but I didn't. Under I, but I understand what happened. These vats are old, and we didn't think clean them properly first, because we were in a hurry. I think some there were some frogs living in one of them, and he figured you could use the, use the extra hops. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> this message is going to be a mouthful. Yoice. Oh, uh, I'm sure you've got to figure it out. Uh, you can shut up, shop, and dirt water. Oh, it's turning into quite a little metropolis. I'll have to have my own place. Okay, I'll go check it out. Awesome. Three cans of beer on the wall, three cans of beer. Take them all down, put them in the bag instead of singing the rest of this song about beer. Three cans of schmaltz beer. It's too grumpy to talk to you. Uh, he's just angrily muttering about yeast. You're under arrest for stealing two handfuls of yeast. The sentence for that is about three days in jail, and Birdwood doesn't actually have a jail. Alright, I'll let you off in the morning this time. Kind of a gym. Not many people will walk around in a cow hat in this day and age. Not to imply that they were ever in fashion or anything. Hi, I'm Final. Hi, I'm Melvin. Alright, the summary caretaker. Nope, I think Jeff said something about having a day job. It hasn't been that f it hasn't been that day for like two weeks though. Haha, <laughs> snort. What's the hat? We're doing historical reenactments. You're playing a tabletop war game. Okay, sure, but a historical one. Anyway, we switched to this after quit doing real, real uh, reenactments. Why did you quit? It was too much exercise, and somebody kept refusing to lie down when he got killed. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> What's this game you're playing? I'm really unfamiliar with this type of board game. It's a very specialized form of entertainment. What I mean is, you seem to be using Flintlock 4000 rules, but my brother said didn't have cows. Oh. Well, uh, yeah, we have to mod them in ourselves. Cool, huh? Can I play? Well, the really rules are pretty complex. I don't think the others will want to stop to play a uh, teaching game. I already know it. My brother used to bug me to play with all the time so he could test his uh, strategies. And then, great, yeah, we're sure to play on the cow's side. Step up to the table and grab some dice. Alrighty. Guy keeps peering intently at the figures on the table and muttering about line of sight. I love how we're just interrupting a D&D &D game. Are you the cemetery caretaker? No, that's Jeff. I'm a paralegal. There's a lot of those in this hobby, I've noticed. Yeah, because if you lose the, the argument, nobody goes to jail. You seem to be taking this game seriously. Well, of course, you gotta play to win. Otherwise, what's the point? Having fun? Exactly! And winning's, and winning's how you do that. Are you having line of sight issues? Yeah, don't me let, let me t uh, have my tape measure on the board when it isn't my turn anymore. So I have to eyeball it. Looks like you get a hit on the front guy. You'd have partial cover though. Yeah, I think you mean soft cover. Oh, you're playing fourth edition. Well, yeah, third edition was a total clutch. Man, you and my brother would be bitter enemies. I'm gonna guess this beard guy. Mom made Rufus stop drinking that brand of soda after he didn't sleep for four days and started yammering about putting your cat in a box to see if it was alive or not. I'm final. Hi, I'm Buddy. A cemetery caretaker? No, nope, a dedicated employee, unemployed layabout. Then where'd you get the money to buy expensive wargaming miniatures? Grift. <laughs> so how do you like this game? It's pretty good. I prefer the science fiction version, though. What's that like? It's real interesting. It has vehicles that move without horses and guns that fire more than once before reloading. <laughs> Whoa, that sounds really imba. <laughs> How'd you get into this? I was in the actual war. Made it out with only a few scars and a limp, unfortunately, on account of I spent the whole thing hiding in a cave. When I heard about reenactments, I signed up to find out what I missed. This is probably not a whole lot like what you missed. Yeah, better snacks for one. Uh, I'm gonna be right back, just so I oops, just so I can uh, uh, plug in my phone quickly. But I'm gonna mute my my thing.
All right, sorry about that. I'm back. Yeah, my my phone was dying, which is what I used to look at chat, and so I had to I had to actually go around plug in my thing, et cetera, et cetera. You know the guys know the drill about phones and shit. Thank you for the positive check and hydrate, though. Oh, I really need to pop my fucking back. This guy is excitedly and repeatedly describing his favorite kinetoscope reel. Hi, I'm Final. Howdy, I'm Ernie. I'm an emergency telegraph operator. Doesn't that mean you should be lit your listening post? It's alright, I have my portable. He takes a telegraph key out of his pocket to show you. Okay. Using two different devices. Probably be beneficial. Unfortunately, I don't have more than more than my phone. Like, you don't have a computer? How do you do your art? What is this kinetoscope reel you're talking about? Oh man, you haven't seen the Dickinson Experimental Sound Film yet? It's amazing. What's it about? Well, there's two guys dancing while a third guy plays a violin into a huge cone. You can, you can actually hear the violin. It's so great. And then a fourth guy walks in. What does he do? Nothing. That's when it ends. Sounds pretty avant-garde. I technically have a PC, but it doesn't work. I draw my phone. Oh, okay. How's the game going? It's pretty good. We're on a real winning streak. If we'd been in charge of the army when the real war happened, things might have gone a lot differently. Probably the real war was a lot more unbalanced in terms of unit allotments. Mmm, good point. This guy's eating chips like they're going out of style. Wait, he's a nerd. Nerds don't care about what's in style. <laughs> Hi, I'm Final. Hi, I'm Jeff. Are you at Cemetery? Yeah, that's that's me. Did one of the other guys tell you? Try to keep it hushed because people assume you're a weirdo if you work in a graveyard. I'm actually here to tell you to get back to work because skeletons are wandering out of the place and causing trouble for the neighbors. Ah, oh, nuts. Well, like I'm on a real running streak. I'll get back once it's over, okay? Ah, oh, fuck. I need to outfoxing. How much outfoxing do I have? Three out of five. You know what, I'll do lockpick and expertise, and I'll buy, and I'll come back later when I have enough XP. This guy doesn't seem interested in the game, he's just noodling on his guitar. What's up, nuns? The game? Nah, I mean, I like games, that's why I hang out with these guys, but I've gotten bored of these strategy war games. I want something different. Like what? I like playing the guitar, so I was thinking of some sort of guitar game. Where you pretend you're in a band and you have to hit the right chords? That sounds hard if you don't already know how to play guitar. Yeah, but I thought of making like a real simplified version of guitar, but then it wouldn't be much fun for me. Is this guy the inventor of Guitar Hero? I have an idea. Instead of pretending to play in a band, why don't you join an actual band and play guitar for real? I know a place that's looking for talents. I'll put my guitar skills to actual use. It's not a bad idea. Okay, cool. It's the Jewel Saloon in Dirtwater. Tell him I sent you. Thanks a bunch. I'll head out right now. Godspeed, guitar man. Outside of the mess hall, stuff has been moved outside. This trash pile of trash smells very, very bad. Kurtz fits pants. I feel like this is all like melee stuff. Shelf of stuff with rule books for the weird games those nerds are playing. Study them. Uh, you pour over the rules until you understand them perfectly enough to realize they're for an entirely different game than those guys were actually playing. Oh well, at least you learned something. As you're about to walk away from the shelf, you notice a book that doesn't look, definitely doesn't belong there. Frightening topics in next mix. Oh boy. That's a pile of candy wrappers and empty snack bags. The shelf is laden with candy. Help yourself. Clove drops, sugar gums, and peppermint drops. Nice. What does my partner have to say about this kind of thing? Yep, I was right, a fort full of nerds. That's a hell of a chess game that got going there. Yeah, it's not totally unlike chess, but the war metaphor is a lot less metaphorical. Also, you don't typically need a tape measure for chess. Looks complicated. 
My brother took a correspondence course in uh, jurisprudence to improve his rules debating techniques. Rufus would have been right at home here. supposed to be doing saltpeter and dirt water Alexa oh the, the book one Alexandria See if we have to go back to where was it? Was it the military cemetery? Liquid Bread Brewing Co. Oh, I see. Thanks for telling me about this place instead of arresting me. Or shooting me in the head and then arresting me. No problem. I'm not a really a bounty hunter anyways. I'm just looking to help people out. Ah, well, you sure did help me out. I really appreciate the opportunity. Things are going pretty well. Not a single yeast monster yet. <laughs> what can I get you? Show me your goods. Athletic Amber Brainy Brown... Cool Kolsch. Nice. All right, I'm so close to six thousand. It's it's. So I'm gonna meet. Ho hopefully, at least. Uh, four more companies, I guess. 
Hopefully. Oh, I need to deliver the saltpeter to somebody. Show him the helmet. His eyes light up. Well, one of them does. The other kind of stuck in a perpetual squint. Does this belong to you? It takes the helmet from you. It takes him a moment to find his voice. It does. Long time ago. I don't... I don't suppose there was anything else he found that. Just some laudanum. And, uh... You, you don't still have it? No, sorry. It's alright. If you run across any, though, I'd, uh... Well, be kindness is all. Poor fella. Needs more cowboy, yeah. Hey, Lloyd. You help with anything? Oh, okay. What am I supposed to do? Uh. Uh, Professor. Uh, ask for another suggestion. Breadwood Mayor. Chef and dirt water. Chef and dirt water. Thank you. That's not where I want to go. Yep, got it right here. Nice stuff, thanks. Okay, next thing I need is a certain kind of hot pepper. It's called a murder pepper, because it's really spicy. Because it literally has a knife and kills people who ask dumb questions. They go in an area outside of town. You should be able to just find one if you wander around for a while. Okay then. This guy's got no fucking thing. Okay. Um. He fixes his ears perk up and he suddenly veers off course. You approach a weird clearing full of piles of rocks. They make your ears ring somehow. The West Pole. This mountain investigates. Oh. Messed with them. These rocks are strange. They don't seem to weigh as much as they should. And they're sort of drawn to each other. Probably could make an interesting Karen out of them. Something mystical. An elaborate orrery. Step in my back and admire your handiwork. It's immaculate. You got a perk song of the spheres. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what does song of spheres do? You can hear the stone singing in your head all the time. It's actually kind of annoying. Nice. These rocks are strange. They don't seem to weigh as much as they should. They're sort of drawn to each other. Something pissed. Uh. do all of them. Alright. 
right, uh, we're going to somewhere. Over at the side of the road, you spot a lone and gloomy grave marker with a lone and gloomy man in a black robe digging up the grave with a shovel. Hey, what are you doing? The red figure looks at you, looks at the shovel, looks at the grave, and looks back to you. Do I really need to explain? I mean, why are you doing it? Well, it's for necromancy practice, right? I mean, you gotta get the bodies from somewhere. That's despicable. This is necromancer's territory now. Your moral outrage isn't really my concern. Did you just say shrug? Attack him. Blasted. You kick him in the hole he's dug and fill it in. That'll show him. Black hood and shovel. Oh. You approach the arcane oven prior Prepare to play your message. Hmm. You look deeply into the all-purpose beans and, you know, I don't want to cook anything yet. Just because I want to cook the supply of beans. Wait, how much do I need for master cookery? 300? Okay. I also needed... Outfoxing. Damn it. Where's the Rebo Hill, Chuck's house, Jumble Neck? Where was the thing again? Where was I'm talking about the like the professor's place. Necromancy is a crime, but dirt water has no jail. Dirt water does have a jail. Uh, bre uh, Breadwood doesn't. What was the place? Was it Colbridge? Your Alva Brother transporter starts insisting that you head to a labyrinth of network of box canyons. Deep in the boxes of the cans, you find a box of Elberbrado stuff. Nice. Oh, is bread with it, didn't Yeah. Excuse me. What the hell was the place that had the professor? Oh, the professor's house. F fucking duh. Off to the side of off, to, off to one side of the trail, you spot a tree branch that's the perfect type for some giddy ups, which is what pull ups are called around here. Do some. Fell giddy after doing 25 giddy ups. Nice. Good to see you again. Have you got those five piles of scrap? Yes, I have. Right here. He ambles over to a strange contraption in the corner of the room and begins to tinker. Great, let me just... Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. This will do the trick. Let me just get this running and you'll be able to grab a keystone from it. It'll take another five scrap for each one you need. Are you familiar with the Lost Dutch Oven Mine? A uh, grim place, but it's where I found the, class, found the chassis for that fabricator. Wedged between an unusual pile of rocks. Seems like a good place to start hunting. Alright, I'm on it. Is 
same wagon broken down by the side of the road. Well, if we're being honest, it's being attacked by horrible monsters that is probably more likely what happened than a simple mechanical failure. Dismount to invest investigate. Most of easy pickings have probably have predictably already been picked easily, but it's still safe that it was presumably too heavy for the scavengers to move, and then they don't have safe cracking. I need that 6,000. The sluice isn't very tight. Tighten it. You tighten the loose screws and some and some ore gets jarred from loose from this up sluice. Uh, nice. Lost Dutch oven mine level one. Loot them. Miner's pants and a gas mask. Heck, could have used this five minutes ago. The miners must have eaten down here to avoid his descent upstairs. Sasp Ooh, sarsaparilla. I don't know what kind of tobacco these miners are chewing, but it must be extra corrosive because this brass spittoon has a hole eaten through the bottom and dark stains underneath where the spit is leaking out. Uh, although, oddly, it doesn't seem to be leaking now and it's half full. I guess the miners plugged the hole with something. Inspect it? It's a spittoon. It's disgusting. You can practically see the stink lines coming off of it. Come on, let's not do this. Oh. Inspect it. Inspect the spittoon. Ah, oh, geez, fine, okay. You crouch down and take a careful look at the filthy spittoon. The inside is blackened with years of years worth of stains. The dead broth inside has a rainbow sheen, like a parking lot oil spill, and occasionally a little bubble pops a little bubble pops up on the surface. You can actually feel a slight warmth reading off of it from whatever dire chemical reaction is tasting taking place yet. You realize you're holding your breath, not deliberately, but from the human, human body's natural instinct, instinct for self-preservation. Inhale. Imagine someone's made a big pot of chili con carne and left it underneath the porch. Three rats crawl into the pot, eat half the chili, and then die. We clear our family of cockroaches take up residence among the withering maggots. Cockroaches uh, smoke thick black cigars, which they light with tufts of burning human hair. That's what it smells like. Search it. Fortunately for you, the rainbow-colored film on the surface of liquid coats your hand as you plunge into the toxic stew, keeping it from being immediately dissolved down to the bones. The smell intensifies and your stomach uh, prepares to hose the poisons off your arm. The high-pressure stream of vomit. Keep searching. Your fingers touch something at the bottom of the spittoon. Better pull it out fast while you still have something to pull with. You pull the world's most disgusting pair of pants out of the bottom of the spittoon. And jump back at the, as the hole in the spittoon's bottom, now unplugged, begins to leak steaming filth. Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of the worst object I've ever been paid to think about, narrowly defeating a leather bondage harness made from the skin of a clown. Nice. Dynamite thermos of spiked coffee, and once again, a caged canary. 20% spooky resistance. Hit the problems. Right down. Hit the elevator in all the right places. Another bondage heart is made from the skin of a clown. What the fuck? Yeah, that's some some. Whoever created this game has like a deranged sense of humor. You emerge from the elevator into a deeper shaft. By the light of your lantern, you see exposed meat veins on nearly every surface. It's unusual that there would be this much readily uh readily available meat left in, left in a working mine. What are they digging for if not this? Guy is totally out of it. He's uh, gibbering and drooling, and he doesn't even seem to see you. Try hey, buddy, you okay? Glabob, Robble, Glabob, Rob, Bibble, Berto, Gordo, Glub. Uh huh. You move your hand in front of his face, but he doesn't react at all. Shovels, dull to uselessness. What am I just digging with his helmet? Broken pickaxe. Looks like a miner died trying to dig deeper with their hands. 
An ominous ladder leading down into a deep, dark pit. This gem is pretty, but it smells terrible. Extract it. <laughs> Thank you, Gumbo. Effluvious Emeralds. How's it going, Gumbo? There's still some little bits of fingernail in these gouges. You have to get out of this pit right now. Uh, the finger bones are all splintered. You have to get out of this pit right now. This guy seemed to have gnawed off his own hands before he died. This guy worked his fingers to the bone digging and then worked his bones to the marrow. You have to get out of this pit right now. As you get near the rocks, the voices in your head begin screaming too loudly to ignore. You have to get out of this pit right now. These scratches are just painted on in blood. You have to... Gumbo said he can't annoy Pipton on his stream. I'm gonna watch an Avery stream. Is he doing alright? I have no clue what day it is today. It is Sunday. Almost Monday. I need to remember which one it was that I needed. Uh, this is fucking horrifying to look at. Avery seems to be alright. I think he's been struggling with the big sad, but streaming makes him happier. Well, I'm glad streaming makes him happier. I know for the longest time he was kind of not doing very well, but I, I hope Mans is doing all right. This pile was pretty obviously made on purpose. Closer inspection reveals that the stones are mortared together. Uh, what what could be hidden in here? Magic the rocks away. This one says talk the rocks into leaving. Mind over mater. Magic over rocks. There's a trapezoidal piece missing from this weird crossbar thing. Insert a keystone. Insert the keystone in the crossbar. Enter the portal. You bend over to examine the device and you accidentally stub your toe on it. It hurts, but the box moves. It must be lighter than it looks. Take it. You grab the device. The professor will want to see this. Back to lurking and slow, slipping up those numbers. Okie doke, gumbo. What's, in th what's this thing? Look inside. Ugh, oh, no. You have learned the Alverberto word for toilet. <laughs> North Pacha, Nanok, Nanok, Bay, Savesam, Chalacho, Pooch's save. The monolith is dark. There's a trapezoidal section missing from this box. Insert a keystone. There's a strange cloth loop inside. At least it feels more or less like cloth. The strange device has three buttons on top of it. Push the first one. These things are unfriendly, neither am I. Easy come, easy go. Oh, interesting.
Oh no. Oh no, I actually survived this. Cool. When the goddamn are you wearing on your face? I don't remember that hat. It's a gas mask. I, I needed to get to the, like, uh, I passed, uh, like, in order to get to this, this, uh, El Vibrato area. I got four El Vibrato scraps and a punch guard. This seems like there might be a doorway, but there's no keyhole or handles or anything. She is dark, there's a circular hole in the bottom. North Patcha, Nanakov, Sevizam, whatever. In fact, uh, Venonat and Venomoth have not been regular poker ducks since Johto. I love Venonat did. Well, I guess not. Let's head to the professor's house at least. Uh, sorry, good to see you again. Have you had a chance to take a keystone to the Dutch oven mine? Look at that unusual pile of rocks. You can always make a keystone with five more El Vibrato scrap in that machine over there. I have indeed. Or did you find anything interesting? Show me the strange advice. Professor, I found a thing. Great, let's see. I have marvelous find. This device makes batteries. Or will, once I fixed it. Batteries? Yep, the Alvabratoians power their portable equipment with little electric marbles. Like the one I put in your transponder. I'm sure I don't have to tell you. A regular source of those will be incredibly useful. Awesome. Fabricate a battery. Because I can Professor examining something with intense concentration. Oh, but now I can. Oh, now that I've actually made it a circular marble thing, I can actually go into the. Power sphere. The machine is dark, there's a circle on the bottom. The machine humps to life. The screen says Chelotro offline, and there's a button on the bottom labeled Ozeve Chelotro. Push it. Tiny voice says Chelotro Bega. So Bega must mean online. Whoa. She on the side of what that weird transport thing is busted. There's a piece here that's pretty obviously broken. Glowing letters read North Pacha Nanopke Zebsom offline. There's a big uh, cylinder thing on top of this big rectangle. Take it. El Vibrato cylinder. This game it looked like it happened a long, long time ago. Place it. It's purring like a kitten. 
A giant untrustworthy me island mechanical kitten. So, what does that do? North Pacha and Onokobe, Sevazam Vega online. Nice. I don't recognize the half circle one. survive this one. Oh, please. This thing can come here for stuff. I'm actually thinking we might just end it here. That way I know I can just grind for things. I might do a little bit of grinding off stream. Whether you like Primarine or Decidueye, we can all agree that Incineroar sucks. No, actually, I think Decidueye and uh, Incineroar are two of the better ones. I do not like Primarina whatsoever. I, I kind of think that that evil line kind of sucks. They they do water, like the water type and the grass type really dirty a lot of the time. Even, even a lot of the, like, even a lot of like the fire types kind of suck, but not not as bad as I think. I think probably grass was the worst one that's shafted. I just don't like Incineroar nearly to a lot of people. I've heard actually the contrary that people like Incineroar, but eh, whatever. I guess I guess you kind of weed out the and track what. Uh, yeah. As you put the ring on your head, two things happen. One is that the it begins humming and shimmering in the weird way all of things like the shimmer, and the other is that suddenly feel as if your earplugs in your brain. Your thoughts get really quiet. Your sense of surroundings, uh, magical and psychic energy, is almost completely muffled. Weird. I'll say it's weird and not entirely pleasant. You take off that band. I like Litten and Torcat, but I do not like Incineroar. I just think Incineroar is kind of like a funny design. Although we all know it's kind of like a shafted um, firefighting type. Anyways, let's find somebody to raid. Alright, who is online? We have... 
We have. Oh, motherfucker. Um, Avery and Abyss are alive. Yep, we have. Okay, so the options are uh, Avery Alexandria, Dunkachi, Abyssa, and Avery Connors. Now, you know what? Let's raid Avery Connors. Man, Mans needs the viewers. I hope everybody has a good time, though. Uh, I know I know it was a slightly longer, slightly weirder stream, as West of Loathing streams always are. But I, I have fun, and I, li I like the humor of this game. Um, the raid message will be... Actually, hold on. Let me, let me drop that sauce. There you go. Dropping some sauce. Uh, if you want to join the Discord and watch some VODs, there you go. Um, the raid message will be... There you go. Rootin' tootin', raidin' shootin'. I hope everybody, uh, yeah, I hope everybody has a good time. Uh, day, night, whatever, whatever you're, whatever you're watching from. Um, and regardless, I hope you all know that I actually care about you. If you, if you ever have issues, and I know a lot of people are having nowadays, my DMs are always open. And remember that, uh, Golden Marshmallow is open too, so feel free to message me about that as well. Anyways, take care everyone.